three days have passed since we bought Nanako's case to a close. That's... <laughs> Every day since then, I've gone to Konoehara Academy to investigate the departed. Enter. But progress has been frustrating, frustratingly slow. I'm getting impatient. Making matters worse, that macabre scene has been seared into my memory. I believe it every night. Oh yeah, this happens. The departed is devouring spirits. Why did they become they consume Hanako's soul after she has already been saved? My only clue is what they said afterwards. I must see it a lot. So I can become beautiful and loved. The Departed wants to consume a lot of souls to become beautiful. I'm beautiful. Are they doing it for me, their husbands? If that's the case, they won't be able to suppress their appetite. I am that desirable. And I love a BBW. What? The sun is still up in the sky. Yet I decided to head to Konoe Hara Academy. I promised Mr. Konoe I'd give him a report. I haven't seen him since that incident. Perhaps he's busy dealing with the fallout from Izumi and Horikoshi's, Horikoshi's case. I pack my bag and get ready to leave. All the evidence I've collected during the previous case is being organized in files. I've also returned anything I borrowed from the school. Just as I'm about to leave the mansion, I hear a chime. Looks like I got a visitor. What hurry timing. Oh my god, it's you. Hey, Mr. Ashki. Entering the mansion is another of the mark bearers, Eita Nakamatsu. They didn't update a lot of your arts, did they? Huh. I mean, I guess they... They fixed his back a little bit. It was always leaning down. Whatever reason. Now he's actually proper um, upstanding man. Like, maybe. The way he dressed just screams to how we'll see him that he's an otaku. I'm not very tech savvy, but I can already but I can always rely on him whenever I need help with tech stuff. Sorry, I Ada. Ada? Aita. Ada. I'm about to head out now. Let's save the tech classes for another time. You're investigating the departed, aren't you? Moi told me. So here to give you a hand. Ata. And this day in this day and age the internet is an essential component for any spirit investigation. I'm not gonna make this voice for long. Some rumors have been originated on the internet. Oh uh, by the way, the departed isn't training in online. Really? Which makes it seem that its influence is limited to Konoya Hard Academy, so it's not a local rumor. Researching rumors through the internet, huh? Not yet, at least. Ada's skill might help me open up avenues for fighting leads. I'm begging you, Mr. Yashki, let me help. What about your job? You mean my part time work at the factory? You work at a factory? I'm not shirking my work, okay? My contract ended last month. I'm researching my. I'm recharging my energy for the next job, no need to worry about that. Let's go to Konoya Hara Academy then. Oh, he smile. I have to go with you. Well, yeah. But, um... Maya's then his anime t-shirt. I thought the headmaster would turn a blind eye to his eclectic getup. Dude. I know it's Japan and stuff, but like... One of your students has white hair, and the other one has a tattoo on her face. I'm pretty sure a guy with a t-shirt will be okay. <laughs> In fact, I might start directing unwanted attention to our group, and that would not be good for them. Just throw him with the other kids, it's fine. A second thoughts, you can stay here. I'll call you if there's anything I want to snoop for the internet. Deploying me as a logistical support, eh? Well, for hope for genius like me. I'll be on standby here then. By the way, 
You better take care of yourself, Mr. Yashiki. Your complexion looks worse than I remember. I barely get any sleep these days, indeed. I've eaten these two people die hor hor horrifically in a short period of time. Nobody just shrugs at that. It's obviously taken a toll on me. Driving while in that state is a necessary risk, you should take the bus. I'll give you some of my passes. Here, take these. Uh, thanks. Eita Nakamatsu. Check the file. Check, check the file. Check the file. Shut the hell up. Koho Shienka. Okay. Eita Nakamatsu, an otaku that helps the protagonist with his obsessive knowledge of tech and the internet. He has been friends with the protagonist since he saved Eita's life during a bizarre case. His logistical supports and comms internet for info. Notes, this end is incomplete. Ah, like always. Books, excels in. Oh, she's dead. Why am I reading this? She's not important anymore. She's dead. Leave could you mention as Ata's waves goodbye. Not wanting to waste his kind and thought to forgive to catch the bus at the nearby bus stop. After passing M Tower Station, the bus motors uphill towards Kunohara Academy. The hum and the jet of vibration of the engine blow my weary sleep to self to sleep. And people say the bus is horrible, the bus is the best part. I mean, sometimes. Traffic's no issue and the bus arrives on time. I got off at the, stu uh, at the stop, at the stoop. I got off at the stop and walked through the school's main gate. Class is in session, so there is not a single student in sight. Let's go to the infirmary for now. It's completely empty. Oh well, might as well treat it like my own office since I've been given permission to do so. And save the game. <laughs> Get out of here. There is no one in the infirmary. Uh, trade? There are sacred objects in one corner of the room. Why I put them there? I'm sure this is intentionally left there in here so I could make use of whatever I need. Uh, oh yeah, bag enhancement, oh, I already got it, I forgot, okay, I don't have anything there. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, faculty? When I enter the faculty room, I'm asking one of the teachers for Mr. Conway. Are you here, Yashiki? Idle hands are the devil's plating. Let's get on to business. So, where should we start? The Hanako and the toilet gate. Oh, the Hanako and the toilet. No, no, no. I read an investigation report. Mr. Konoe lowers his voice. He probably doesn't want the other teachers to hear us. It's hard to believe the Hanako spirit killed Izumi and Horikoshi. Goodness. Reading some of it is the truth. You have to accept it. I'm very aware of that. With that as you may, I don't think everyone else is going to believe it. To tell the truth, some teachers and students are starting to wonder about you. They're curious about the men wandering around, questioning students. Oh, great. They find me suspicious. Especially your curriculum coordinator, Mr. Sakamoto. You seem to have touched a nerve with her. I'm begging you, don't make her mad. Yes, I, I, I try, but she's very into me, what can I say? It's the lack of hair and the big ass pointy forehead. Or that? The families have contacted police. A detective came to our school to investigate. He was only for formalities though, and managed to send me on his way. That is it? Over 10,000 miners go missing every year. Without it being a clear criminal case, they won't investigate it seriously. That is convenient, but it's also so bad. Like, what the hell? 
All right, they can investigate it. There aren't enough clues. Okay. I yeah, haven't gotten any notices. You'll be the first person to know if one arrives. Oh, okay. Can't see any hints that could lead me to the departed of the entity. Figuring this out without any clues is basically impossible. It's not like I'm hoping for a new notice. I just wish there was something I could inspect. By the way, Yashki, do you know why I wanted you to come earlier than usual today? I want you to teach some. What? No. Why you wanted me to teach? Like, physical education? Me! I can teach you how to roll around. I, I can. I can teach you how to make coffee. How about that? Or chongu. Chong? Chongu? Chong? I never learned how to say that. Okay. Excuse me? Our Japanese history teacher's father no. You want to be returning? Oh, fine. Anthropology. I can do that. And since you're here, I want you to teach a supplementary course. This is a mini game. Hold on a sec. Why do I. I need you to take this seriously. Besides, you benefit from this as well. If you're standing in front of the students teaching a class, you will allay their suspicions and squash their doubts. Our making investigation proceeds more smoothly, don't you think? Uh, me, become a teacher. I guess I got no choice. Great, so let's settle then. Do whatever you like as long as you be a student. I assume I have some knowledge about folklore studies and occultism since you chase. Oh, I gotta become that one guy from the Persona series. I forgot his name. There's just the answer subject matter and spinning as being historic or something. Good luck, Yashiki. I didn't think I have to actually teach a class. I'm in deep trouble. One of the teachers gives me uh, some very brief guidance on how to conduct a class. And with that, I head to, the one, to one of the second year classrooms in the new building. The moment I enter the class, all eyes are on me. I feel like I'm an object in some kind of exhibition. I want to just turn and around and leave. I felt like that once. It's horrible. However, I gotta do this. That's the, my own thoughts until I regret it, having those thoughts. After a quick introduction, I begin my class immediately. So, about the personas and the arcana. Let's talk about death for a second. It's too late to turn back now. Time to suck it up and be a teacher. What kind of lesson should I teach though? Since I'm acting as a Japanese history teacher, a lesson related to that will be good. Let's teach him about the canon soldier. Three topics spring to my mind as candidates. The Kujo and the Konoi family, the tragedy at H Castle, the horrors of the great city air raid. Uh, yeah, this is the canon soldier. H Castle... This is actually new to me, and this is my own story, that would be a, a, a bit revealing. The tragedy at H Castle. Oh wait, isn't H Castle the school, this... where the school was built on top of? So they probably already know this. The horrors of the Great Eight City Air Raid. Yeah, this is about... Um, it kind of ties into the Second War and the Cannon Soldier a little bit. And a lot of other things. The Kujo and Konoi family is just... I don't know. Spoilers for the first game, I think. Uh, Edge Castle is actually new content. Hi, hello. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Remains of the H castle are located in the eastern... Okay, maybe not. It is said that the lord of the castle and his family made a tragic end. From there, I moved to the situation in the Kanto region during the Yazuchi Moyamamanyamama period. The Kanto region? Did I have Pikachus there? For the first time in days, I'm actually happy to hear the sound of the bell ringing. I made it to the underclass. Providing the students a good rest for the day, I leave the classroom. I return to the special building, while, while responding to the students who greet me in the hallway. Phew. 
I exhale deeply, feeling immensely relieved. Giving an hour-long lecture with all eyes on me was no easy task. I got a newfound respect for other teachers who have to go through this every single day of the school year. Mr. Yashki, Mr. Yashki, Miss Shakamore is ready for you. Please return to the faculty room. Why do I have to do the voice like that? What does Sakamoto want from me? Mr. Connolly says she hates me. Um, how about no? <laughs> it's not here yet. God dang it. Uh, I wish I could press zero to go back. I did ask them. Like, they made a post about fixing some things in this game. And I did, like, leave a... Uh, I don't know, just ask them if they plan on making, like, some key binding adjustments. So just... For the devs, that is. Key, key bindings adjustment, or just some option to change, um, like, resolution on PC. Kind of waiting for that. Uh, where to again? Oh, move the game forward. When I enter the faculty room, I ask one of the teachers to call me Sakamoto. There you are, Mr. Yashiki. Please take this. One of our students found me at the end of the corridor and brought it here. There it is. Send your notice. Dear Gold Prize, Ashman will kill you tonight. I'm watching, hiding in the school. Your beloved, the departed Kashima. Kashima? Kashima. It doesn't ring a bell. Okay, it really doesn't ring a bell. I'm trying to find the team because on the first. On the first, uh, apparently on the second game, it is based on uh, like local legends and uh, other kind of uh... yeah, that like local legends and stuff. It's like that on the first game, the local legends was more based on the game itself, while on this game they are a little bit more public known, like Hanako, even though I don't live in Japan. I am familiar with the story of Hanako. Some parts of it. I don't know Kashima. I know that on the second game, the ghosts are based on um, folklore. Like children's tales and stuff. Some of them. Yeah, just some of them. They're based, they're not 100%, but they're based. Kashima? Who the hell is Kashima? Kashima... I don't know. Dear Gold Prize. Notice for Gold Prize. Looking at the format, it's definitely consistent with the department, the, the department, with the department's notice. In that case, the target this time is Gold Prize, and there's a new spirit named Kashima. You certainly have your off, huh? Being tugged to and fro to respond to the student's pranks. I sneer across her face. I guess she doesn't believe the departed exists. I doubt Mr. Konoe explained the details to Izumi and Horikoshi's mothers to her. Can I ask you something, Miss Sakamoto? Do you have any idea who Gold Prize and Kashima are? Having a focus notion. If you have no more business with me, I'll be taking my leave. I'm a curriculum coordinator. You have, you, I have a lot of things to do. Give me the cold shoulder. She leaves the room. I guess that confirms the rumors of her hating me. I don't think she hates you. It's more like you know she just doesn't take you seriously. All right, where should I start? And can I to anyone for victim this time? I need to some investigation search, but, but if no one falls victim, I don't get CGs, and the content is lost, and the game gets boring. Time to head back to the infirmary and devise a plan of attack. Yeah, 
Infirmary it is. Ah, oh, found it. Energetic voice fills the room. Yo, old son. Oh, it's you. Sup, old man. Is you usual at this game? What are you doing here, show? Nakamatsu told me you did. Right about the case, I went in. Unable to hide my surprise at his sudden visits, I decided to ask him some things first. What are you doing here? Help you out, of course. And be your assistant. Goodness, again with the goodness. You're just like I. Where is she, by the way? He said a TV team came up suddenly so she couldn't come. Oh yeah, that is that. Um, I'm not gonna be showing everything that happens on the bad game when I decide to advance save 6 to 9. But yeah, I guess at some point the game would go and come and say like, oh, like if I... If something happened to character X, then situation B would be different. Something like that. Yeah, I, I can show that. That would be like a whole playthrough just to show differences. I already done that with one game and I regret it. I'm just gonna show what, what is the worst ending of the game. Later. She's, okay. Ah, too bad, huh? No cute idol at your side today. It <laughs> says who? You can say I'm glad, though. I was in trouble before. This is my chance to return your kindness. I'm making an awful large deal about it. I can't help it. This is who I am. Where you been? This is Sho Nagashima. A high school student of H City as well as one of the mark bearers. As you can see, he's one of the delinquents. He plays baseball a lot, so he's strong, strong and fit. Though he does have a notable weakness. I appreciate your concern, but the problem we're dealing with here revolves on your Achilles heels, spirits. Uh, so what then? Hey, my first time dealing with spirits? I ain't no chicken, you hear? Yeah, but he almost died twice. Despite his boisterous protestations, he is really shaking. While he has way more guts than the other people, he has a crippling fear of the supernatural. It is so bad that his body practically shuts down as soon as he hears the word spirits. I never did ask him why he's so afraid though. He had some kind of traumatic events when he was young. So he's the kind of guy that can't get inside a, a cowboy thematic uh, tavern. Because they sell spirits there. Hmm. The hell old man? Why are you looking so concerned on that and all? It's pissing me off. How'd you get a uniform? We don't go to the school. This? I bought it from Watanabe's friend. Ain't really a blazer kind of guy though. This preppy shit clashes with me so hard it's giving me the chills. Real men only rock a shirt and jacket and hat and pants. Adam? Adam. Adam pants. What? With the pleasantries concluded, I explained the situation to show. Harem pants. Uh, 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 ew, no, ew, uh, get out of here, no. <laughs> His determination is as strong as eyes. He's one stubborn fellow. Who knows? Get out of here. Who knows what we do if I refused? He's probably rushing alone. It's much safer for everyone if I take him along as my assistant to keep an eye on him. By the way, that old man Diamond called earlier. He said he had some urgent business and he'd be late. That old man's still a coffin man, huh? What was it again? Doctor makes the first patients? Master told me something like that. Doctor makes the worst pac patients. Why did he say? Doctor makes the first patient. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what Master taught you. Speaking of, why the hell is he? Figured he'd be here with us since we're dealing with spirits. Oh yeah, Master. Master is a former detective and a mark bearer. 
He often enjoys many investigations, many investigating strange happenings. Following a series of events in a previous case, Sho looks up to him as an older brother. We were actually talking on the phone just last night. He's currently out of town on a different case. He didn't go into detail, but it seems like it's a pretty big case with a lot of people's lives at risk. Basically something that requires his urgent attention. Oh, I, I can't have my boyfriend until the last act. God damn it. So how are we gonna do this? Pretty much the same way we started out with the case of Hanako of the Toilets. Can we just say Hanako? Focus on the spirit's mission in the notice and try to prevent casualties. We start by trying to figure out the identity of Kashima. If you don't know who Kashima is, we'll never be able to figure out what the grudge is. We also need to identify the gold price mentioned in the notice. Aren't they like the next target? Correct. If you know who gold, who gold price is, that may lead us to Kashima's identity. Kashima and gold price. Hmm. Time to get moving. Where should we go? Doryu and Ki Kinukawa through the student council know a lot about the school, school rumors. Let's ask them. Hell oh yeah, let's roll. Doritos. Character Sho Nagashima is being added to the character file. Go to the student council room and touch some Doritos. Okay. Doritos. There is no one in the student council room. Oh, God damn it. It's unusual to see this place empty after school. Maybe they just headed out for a bit. Let's get some time here while we wait for them. Why? Oh, I see. Anything else? Oh, there is. Thick black binders are lined up on the shelf. Records of each year's committee meeting are stored here. I can use the mouse. There are several printouts on the whiteboard. One of them is about a clock tower. Ooh. Konohara Academy Student Council Notice. Konohara Academy 17th Anniversary Projects. Wake up clock tower. Built to commemorate the school's 10th anniversary, the clock tower is a representation of Konohara's Academy's 70 year story. To commemorate the 70th anniversary of the school, you would like to make another attempt to repair the clock tower and your signature is required for this to happen. Hmm. Your cooperation will be greatly appreciated. Let's use our power to move the hands of the clock again. Konehara Academy's clock tower, huh? Right here. It's right in the front, more or less. Usually it's more on the back. But I guess it can also be used as like a community landmark kind of thing. So I guess I understand why they decided to put it on the front. I mean, historically. Yeah, I, 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 okay, never mind. A symbol of Konoyahara Academy that looms so large you can even see it from afar. However, the clock stopped moving and the bell no longer works. What? I beg to differ. The student council has decided to take it upon themselves to make the clock move once again. Is that why we're cursed? Wait a minute. Whenever the departed's voice rings in my ears, I always hear a bell rounding, sounding. Furthermore, when I arrived here the first time, I heard the sound of that bell ringing. A bell that shouldn't work anymore. The students seemed indifferent to the bell back then, and I assumed it was because they were just used to it. Or maybe it's because I'm the only one who can hear the bell drop tolling. Rolling, rolling, but why? He's a... he's a tick. I'm sorry about that. Why is this... Hello? Why do you like this? Look at this. Click. No. Click. Has to be on the eye. The trash can is empty and his back line has been replaced. Though it still smells somewhat musty. Ugh. Musty. Don't say it like that. Okay. Hmm. On the desk, I find a notepad with something written on it. 
Student Meeting Agenda Incorporating Measures Against Mold and Pests How rude of you to call insect pests? I don't find any useful information. Hello. Ah, Mr. Ashki, I didn't know you were here. I'm doing some more investigation. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. I told Doryo about the new notice we found. Boat Prize in Kashima, huh? That sounds familiar to you? It does, yes. Alright. Can I ask something first, though? Horikoshi's been absent for a while now. Some even saying she's gone missing. Is it possible that she was killed by Hanako? I am... obliged by law... to say... that she has just taken a very long vacation somewhere. And the subject... And on the subject of Hanako, Hanako doesn't exist. She's so just part of her imagination. Can you look at these glasses for me first? I can't bring myself to answer her. The headmaster told me to keep it a secret, and I don't want to make her anxious. I knew it. However, she's a student enough to discern the truth to the silence. You didn't say anything! You moron! The rumors are true, then. Once you're targeted by the departed, it's over for you. About that, I think he might be referring to Sleep Mother, Sleep Mother Kashima. I'm intrigued, tell me more. Sleep Mother Kashima is a spirit that's rumored to haunt the bus stop near the school. That, that's it? Any details about the sightings? Anything else? I don't really know the details. Didn't I tell you before? I'm really scared of things like ghost stories. Okay. Gold prize, huh? Like the gold prize in a competition? It's what I thought. Like a track field runner, something? Or maybe like a chess champion? Or Apex Legends? Oh, I see what you're thinking. So the target is the student who has received the gold prize. Do you know of anyone like that? Hmm. I haven't heard anyone winning anything recently. Our school isn't that passionate about club activities, but that's actually new, for sure. Really? But there are trophies and certificates lined up at the entrance. In the past, we used to be competitive. Before it became a prep school, many students were enthusiastic about club activities and sports. But nobody's really into that anymore. Huh. Okay. How about Slip, Slip Mother Kashima? Maybe Michiho knows something more. She loves the kind of, those kind of things after all. Where is she? She's gone home, but... She'll probably come back if she knows you're looking for her. What? I had to live in the dormitory. So it's not it's like she gone home, but it's not like it's literally right on the corner. I think she likes you ever since you complimented her hair. I actually find it kind of amazing that teachers don't scold her for her hair. Oh, they do. Hmm? Did I say something wrong? No, it's nothing. Michiho might be a bit strange, but she's not a bad girl. Please be nice to her. Meet you whole like spiders. I'm gonna write a poem about that. <laughs> Ask Dorio to call Michelle and leave the student council room. I mean, she likes beetles. There is nothing to say that she likes spiders. The school... The school will be closing shortly. Our students please properly back at the school grounds for today. Oops, oops, time's up. Let's return to the infirmary and start prepping for the school search tonight. Okay. Okie dokie. As you say. 
All right, old man. Let's get ready for the night investigation. I'm going to be back by the time we finish. I take a few bites of the convenience store food show brought before I start preparations. Finally, the sun sets, and there is no sign of anyone left inside the school. Wait, we're not gonna go around and ask? Who, who, who the hell is Kashima? Old man Dylan Slayer as fuck. I thought we were just waiting. Let's go on without him. Show brings up a good point. There's a new notice to worry about. Both prizes are being hunted by Kashima and maybe killed. We can't waste even a second. The student council press if Kashima's hunts the bus stop near the school, yeah? How about we check out that place first? Save the game. <laughs> Nine hours! Nine hours! I mean, according to like what I've been looking at the achievements. That is like what? I think eight episodes on this game? Yeah, about eight episodes. Eight, nine episodes. I don't even know. How do I go there? Um Where am I going? A new building? Can I start finding tooth now? Oh you here oh get your hands out of your pocket. Get in. It's locked. Oh yeah, it's the old building. Right. I guess I have to wait for someone with knowledge on the tooth to show up. Hmm. There's a large bulletin board here. This is where the first notice was spotted. When I move the papers around, there is a knife damage and some red marks. This red stain looks like more like mold to me. It's still unsettling though. They keep saying it's mold. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Can I go here? Can I can I go here? It's locked. Can I go outside? Connecting corridors ahead. We can't leave the school this way. Of course we can. We go to the yards. And then we go a large tree. It's not like unless there is a wall, but I didn't see a wall on the map. Wait a second. Am I? I leave the building through the front door and head to the main gate. I am. Oh, new scenario. And you're here. Ah, oh, there you are. He may say you're looking for me. Guess you got a new notice. Appreciate you coming here, but did not door you call you quite a while ago? Oh, I left my phone at the door. I was so surprised when I listened to the voicemail. I never expected you to come you listen to voicemails. So I rushed here. Sorry about that, and thanks. It is something we don't do in Brazil, because we receive so much like telemarketing and just... Like spam and, thing, and people trying to steal your money. We, we don't really read voicemails anymore. Anyway, at least not of my family. I see that boy is our sister now, huh? Piercing, scars on his cheek, and an intense stare. A delinquent, I take it. Oh, shut up. None of your business. What the hell is this floaty airhead? Am I some kind of... Co co uh, about what? Excuse me? Why do you even say... Hey, enough. I introduce Sho and Michiho to each other. In short, Sho will be helping me tonight. Whoa, this is like so much fun. Hey, let me join too. Kinokawa smiles mischievously. Looks like she wants to join the investigation. What should you do? Have Sho handle it. Uh, let her join. I tell Kinokawa she can join us for a while. I need a while sounds good. I have a curfew after all. Ah, oh, that reminds me. You call that guy Sho, right? 
Sure must be nice to be called by your first name. Probably gives you a sense of closeness, huh? Kinokawa stares at me with anticipation. Uh... Ah, whatever. Yep, that's it. Now I feel like we're all in the same boat. Kinoka uh, uh, Michio seems happy. Now let's talk. Uh, chat. These days, all people talk about is the departed. People who totally ignored it at first have started to believe they exist now. Especially once Horikoshi's became the third victim. She disappeared right after the notice arrived. Everyone's scared they may be targeted next. And thus, more students have been skipping school. Are you not scared, Michi Michio? <clears throat> it's the opposite. My curiosity is speaking. Aren't you curious to know about the departed, who the departed is? This isn't a TV show or a manga here. We're facing a virtuous murderer. Don't be reckless. Okay. Ah, oh, Slidam I used to be the he used to be the talk of the school. The newspaper club did a special feature on them and it became a big hit among students. There is a rumor going on about Konoyahara Academy. This bus connects to the school. Achievement! This bus connects to the school and M Tower Station. Once the sun goes down, students aren't allowed to get off midway. Because Slip Maldo Kashima will appear. Once, a girl got off the spoon in the bus and started walking. She heard a strange sound from somewhere. A nearly metallic sound. And when she tried to listen closely out of curiosity, she heard a voice mix in with the sounds. What? The sound suddenly stopped right behind her. She looked back without thinking. Hello. You are... Normal? More or less? It's the most normal ghost so far. But there is something on her waist though. What is that? It's a tool belt? It's made of flesh. It's like teeth. Is it fingers? It's like a finger belt. What is going on? And saw a tall woman in a long coat. She wore a mask and carried bloody scissors. Oh, it's that legend, okay. And that was Sleep Mario Kashima. Huh? You're making all that up, aren't you? No, I'm not. A student really was killed five years ago. Five years. She got off at that same bus stop. She saw Kashima standing next to the bus stop. Kashima started walking towards her. The voice and the metallic sound got closer and closer. A bus came from the opposite direction. The girl ran over and got on that bus, not caring where it was headed. Ugh. The bus left, heading away from the stop where Kashima appeared. The girl took a seat and felt relieved. She convinced herself she was just imagining things. She believed it was all just a dream. The 
able to get back to the stop near the school. She had to get off there to go back to the dorm. But you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Jimon. Isn't Jimon like bug? Like cockroaches. You come me. Some kind of god, apparently. This has some thing about god in the end, at least. A some entity. But Jimon looks like. Isn't Jimon just cockroaches? Or something. I don't know. Kashima had chased after her. And then. Ah. Oh. They love that sound, don't they? Oh, she just came undone. That girl was killed by Kashima. Even worse, the way she was killed was unbelievably horrible. She was torn apart, and scissors just sprouted from her body. She was stabbed to death, but from the inside, not outside. With all the blades sticking out of her body, she looked like a bloody hedgehog. It was a nightmarish scene. It fits the theme. I mean, Hanako made uh, rubber hoses sprout from the other guy's body. From the inside out, like, through the eyes. It's just... That's disgusting. I didn't read that. Imagine dying with scissors burst from your body. Gruesome, isn't it? Micho, there is something I'd like to confirm. Let me guess. The school gates where the, that student dies. Exactly. It's here. It is a rumor about the school. Like... It... Yeah. There might have been a dead body right here, where, right where he's standing. Seriously, dude? I can't break shit. To no one's surprise, the mission of spirits has shows complexion of the group pilot. Though, I have to admit, hearing that story took a toll on me as well. And that corpse? Disappeared the moment the cops arrived. That's definitely a spiritual phenomenon. Don't you think Slid Marukashima is an unusual name? Is there any context behind the name? The Slit Mouth part is based on the story of the Slit Mouth. Oh, there we go. I was thinking on this. It's like, it's the lady that stalks people on the streets. Like, it's a very tall lady with a trench coat. Wearing a mask. She stalks people on the streets and asks if she's beautiful. They needs to give a certain answer, otherwise she removes the mask, she sh shows up her face that is just like this big ass glass gold smile popping up with a scissor out stitched up. Kinda weird. And then she kills you. Or something. Kashima wears a mask like the legends, and she kills people with scissors. What about the Kashima part then? Well, everyone knows the urban legend about Reiko Kashima, the girl who was cut in half when she fell off a train. But the details don't match. Reiko Kashima was no legs and has no legs and cuts people in half with a scythe, not scissors. I... That's the thing. So who or what the Kashima part refers to is still unknown. That's how I know. There's not much to go on since it's an old rumor. Even if the target is really some kind of gold prize winner, like Hime suggested, I have no idea what that would be. I'm not in interested in at all in those things. Okay. Please find him quickly and solve this case. Or else I might find him first. But then you die. And you have three bodies to do it. A dead body, a weird body, and a nobody. Shall we get going, Mr. Yashiki? 
A teacher shouldn't break a promise for the students, alright? Alright. With that said, show. Sorry, man. Let's just let her do what she wants for the time being. Jeez, how kind of freak can you get? She's your problem, old man. I'll be following you along from distance. Don't want to interrupt you. Hey, show. You know, I'm pretty confident when it comes to sensing supernatural beings. We'll definitely discover something big. Keep your expectations high. So she's following me now. After this point, she'll be unable to change companions for a while. Mm. I'm trying to get a better look at that. But it's, yeah, it's kind of like how Hanako's thing happens. Let me get myself. Um, be gone. Um, yeah, it's kind of like how Hanako's thing happens. Where the things just appeared from inside the body. And the, there is a correlation. Where is the mouse? There is a correlation to the, uh, to the railroad. Railroads incidents. Maybe it is a fusion ghost. Like she fell on the train tracks, apparently. I I don't know the story. She fell on the train tracks and I have to search it. I'm actually gonna have to search it. Next. Uh Yukami Ocean Jimon Abai. Jimon. This word as well, I have to search it. What am I? Uh, uh, okay. Can I save? I can. I can go back. I don't want to go back. You deal with a spacey, spacey chick, old man. Okay. Hi, hi. Spirit hunt is an exciting as a beetle. It's exciting as beetle hunting. Which bus stop does Kashima hunt? The one. In front of the school. There's tactile paving on the sidewalk between the school gate and building. The safety feature is starting to become more common these days. The school really doesn't cut corners. This kind of things reminds me that it's supposed to be an exclusive British school. I find something on the bump near the paving. It is a tooth! Pick it up, it's a needy tooth. So we barely know anything, and we got a ghost to do it. Ah, huh. it's not good. Hi, you're here. There's still some time before the next bus arrives. Cool. There's a bench with painting pinny from every corner. I've seen some crusted bugs on the seats, crushed bugs. A hawk moth, huh? What a poor soul. May you rest in peace. There's a boy wearing a Konohara Academy uniform. What is he doing here? School's let out a long time ago. Ah, oh, you're the kid from that I seen on the second chapter. You're pretty much the same name. What's, what's up? Oh, what was he talking about? Something about the window, I think. Hmm. His left eye is a deep blue. Everyone can tell he's not an ordinary boy. Spirit, Spirit Doctor Kazuo Hayashiki. I should have called you Mr. Yashiki, since you're a teacher here now. Yeah, I'm Yashiki. My left eye sees everything. The Green Reaper is coming after you. That's fine. I mean, I I am cursed by default, so... Well, you are summoning death upon the school. That's... That, that has nothing to do with me. It was like this when I arrived, okay? I may be aggravating, but it didn't start with me. <laughs> and finally, in the end, the Green Reaper's sickle will strike you down as well. A tragic demise awaits you. You're not making any sense. Care to explain? Listen with your soul, not your ears. 
only thing you'll be able to understand. This is a warning withdrawn from this case, before you and the people around you fall victim to the spirits. They are still gonna kill somebody, then what does it matter from here on on? As soon as he finishes speaking, the boy leaves. What on earth is his problem? He sure attracts strange people, huh? You know him? More or less. He's my senior. He's obsessed with occult stuff and always approaches people who can see. See what? Spiritual beings, duh. What else? He said he can tell when people have spiritual sensitivity. I don't know if he's telling the truth or not. He might just be assuming things on his own. Huh. Sure know a lot about him. Did he approach you too? Yep. He stopped doing that since Miss Sakamoto scolded him. Oh, he was following Izumi too. Izumi, huh? Mind telling me his name, just in case. Hmm. Sorry, I forgot what his name is. Only remembered that it's a really unique name. Got a message. That boy seems to be famous in Konohar Academy. Looks like a troublesome individual. Uh, 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 his eyes on me. Hmm. Excuse me. Why do I go now? Go forward? Go back? Uh. Sit. Hmm. Sit on the hawk mouth. No? Okay. Bus. Bus? Bus? Alright. What exactly are we going to do to investigate Kashima? Shall we start by testing on the rumor? Attempting to reenact the rumor and searching for any evidence of spirits has always been my investigation style. I try to recall the contents of the rumor. When did Kashima appear again? While you're waiting for the bus, while you're riding the bus, after you get off the bus. Awesome, you remember every detail. It was... okay. Glad to know you're really listening. That reminds me, Michiho. Which bus stop was Kashima seen as? As far as I know, the rumor doesn't really spe spe specifically say which bus stop it is. A bus stop between the school and M Tower station. So that's Sam Town, S Cemetery, or K Hospital. Are the buses here? Hey, don't leave me here. You're the one who stay behind. The bus set off on a night journey, and we three are the only passengers. Checking the route map, the bus does stop three times before reaching M Tower Station, M Town Shop, S Cemetery, and K Hospital. Where would a ghost of a possible um, railroad accident be at? M Town Shop? M Town Shop? Hmm. The other two are too easy. Well, should we get off? Um, I'll screw it. The hospital. If I have no idea where to go, then the only place I can go is forward. And that's where I'll be. Hello. Oh, it's, it's show. That show. What a creepy hospital. Does it look abandoned though? It shouldn't be. Now, uh, check it. It is the entrance to K Hospital. Nothing really beats the creepiness of going to a hospital at night. Is that it? How's oh, an ambulance? There's an old bench here. Time and disrepair have started rusting the metal bits on the bench. Okay, so it isn't this. 
Yeah. Uh, cemetery? If it is the cemetery, it's, it's gonna be kinda boring. Like a ghost that inhabits a cemetery, like, really? What else would it be? A mom's house? What is that? Scissors. Sit, si scissors. I find a pair of scissors on the roads. The blade and handle are covered in a red substance. Is this blood? That'd be my guess. Why is he here? Scissors. Don't tell me. Ashma is. Mishboha bites her tongue. So it's clear that what she's going to say next. The Kashma dropped this. That's an owl. Michio clings to my arm suddenly. Hey, what in the world? What in the world? Did you feel that? There's something dangerous nearby, staring at us. It must be Kashima. Nice. I can hear the voice. Voice? What voice? The voice is saying something. It's reading the title screen of the chapter. You. Kami. Ocean. Jimon. Abai. Michiho? You. Kami. Ocean. Jimon. Abai. Okay, 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 I get it. You good, Michio? <laughs> Yo, you good? Yeah. It's not feeling so good. Sorry for warning you. I'll just head back to the dorm. Great timing. The bus back to school just arrived. Bye bye, Mr. Ashki. Hey, wait. Still not done talking to you. Micho ignores me and walks to the bus stop on the opposite side of the road. She gets on the bus without so much as a second glance. Well, she's dead. Nothing to it. If you're reenacting the whole ghost thing, she's probably dead. The hell's up with her? She says she's not feeling too well. It's like she sensed someone's presence. No way. Was it Kashima? Maybe. They're not here. Maybe they're inside a cemetery. I follow Sho's gaze and find a door leading to the cemetery. Hey, old man. Let's give those scissors. We might be connected to the spirits. You obtain hairdressing scissors. Okay, but you carry it. Put it in your pocket. Cuckoo. Your back pocket. At the spot where the bloody scissors were. There are some tracks on the roads. Like traces of hard shaped objects being dragged. They're extending to the cemetery. Hmm. Hmm. A vehicle gate is that leads to the cemetery. It's shut tight because it's night time. Inspecting it closely, there's about a one centimeter gap between the gate gate boards. Should we be able to peek inside this way? Yeah, do it. Why are you gonna lose your eyes? I bring my face closer to the gap. There's only darkness on the other side. The gap's too narrow to make out anything else. Should I climb, climb the gate and look around? The wind blows through the gap. This doesn't feel like autumn night winds. Too tepid, damp, and musty.
That why does that sound? Did the wind route of the gate or something? The gate doesn't look so weak as the breeze would rather it though. But this is the work of some supernatural being. Oh. Something falls down from the top of the gate. It's a tooth. It's a big wooden tooth. Yay! Pararara. Shaw and I head inside. We walk among the tombstones. The cemetery is large, probably half the size of Konohara schoolyard. This place is packed with tombstones, the dead supposedly slumbering beneath. However, I hear the sound of the winds blowing through from time to time. I can't help but wonder if that sound is actually the wailing of the restless sea. Nah, it's just a giant wind corridor. Hold up a sec, old man. Shaw suddenly halts his steps. He fixes his gaze on the graves. I can't see clearly because it's freaking dark and shit out here, but... <clears throat> see the name written on that one? It's like it says Kashima. With how many graves are in this place, it's hard to tell which he's referring to. Let's look around a bit. Oh, well, there is this one. <laughs> With a bunch of marmalade on top of it. There are several small, narrow boxes lined up in front of the tomb. Never heard of that tradition like this before, though. Number of small boxes. Is boxes of marmalade? Like it's a small town. Maybe like traditional marmalades, just like wrapped up in straw or something. And it just got hard because like it's forgotten on the sun for a really long time. Uh, no. How do I do this? The boxes are similar in size. The decorated in or ornate lettering must be the names of brands. Durandal, Arc Cuts, King Cutter, Knot's Edge. Durandal. This is like scissor brands. I, w I would say swords because of Durandal, but I guess for the sake of like. Team. It's gonna be like scissors. I haven't heard of any of these brands before. Other than Edge though, could they be brands of blades or something? We know more once we open the boxes. Open the boxes. Open! I take out the head dressing scissors. Even if I take it out, I don't know. I I am gonna have a hernia. Just open the boxes. Hmm. A grave surrounded by withering plants. Looks like this grave has been abandoned for quite some time. I feel sorry for the deceased. Why do I also have to do this here? The flowers have withered and petals are scattered around the flower stands. The least I can do is make it neat and tidy. Cut them up. I don't know how to use this though. It's scissors! You put your fingers on the hole, you place the blades against your face, and you shove it in your nose. Rearrange. I turn off the wither blades and brush away the scattered petals. We got something, an old man? If you're taking care of a stranger's grave. What's the problem with that? Something small falls on the ground, along with some ruined bits of dust. It's another wooden tooth. Cuckoo. I turn my gaze to the bushes for a moment. I feel like something dark is moving there. It's probably just my imagination, though now I don't really want to stay here for so long. There's nothing on this side. Oh, right. Cuckoo. The family's name is engraved on the tombstone. Kashima family grave. The Kashima show mention must be this one. 
Is it connected to Sleep Mount Kashima? It's in a small town. I can only say it is. Oh, tab. What the hell? Pick up one of the boxes. It's so light. As if there's nothing inside. Hey, old man. Do you hear that? Indeed, I do hear a strange sound. Don't tell me this is. A sharp metallic sound from the rumor. Sounds getting closer. My body's completely tensed up. It's hard to breathe. Ah, that's what it was. Okay, is that slit mouth Kashima? Oh, we're screwed. What should we do, old man? I'm a thief. I didn't do anything. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, we'll stop it. <laughs> Out of the blue, I feel pain and discomfort as if a foreign object has been shoved into my arm. What is wrong, old man? My heart's so bad, like it's being stabbed by a sharp blade. Don't finish it. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, it finished it. Ah, what is up with your arm? I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure this is Kashim's doing. Hmm. I need to do something or else I'll be killed. What should I do, old man? I'm hurting pretty bad. I can't really move that well. So what do we do now? Um... Kashima told us to give it back, but what? Do you need to put the offering back at the grave? Uh, yeah? Hairdressing scissors, small box. Open it and show Kashima. Return scissors to the grave, inspect the box. Could be this, but... I, as you said, I can't do anything. Cut my own hair. Cut my own hair? Cut my own hair. Yeah, just do it. Why not? It's gonna be fun. Show tries cutting his hair with the hairdressing scissors. It works. Show cuts the tip of his hair, letting it flutter in the wind. Oh, it's just on me. Okay. A sharp pain shoots through my arm. I don't think Kashima's rage will subside anytime soon. I need a different plan. Apparently, this wasn't the right choice. Bugger. Show a small box. Uh, return scissors to the grave. Show puts the hairdresser scissors in the small box and places it in the Kashima's grave. I thought it was just the box for sure. Come on, it should be good enough, right? I return the scissors to you. Show places the box holding the scissors from Kashima's grave. Kashima muttered something before disappearing into the darkness. Looks like this was the right choice. Yippee! She's gone. I guess so, yeah. How's your arm, old man? It's normal. Scissors are gone. The heck? You don't have a single scratch on you. What is going on here? 
I used the, the patented Resident Evil 7 medicine. Just splash it on you. He even fixed your clothes for some reason. No idea. The scissors might have been an illusion created by Kashma's resentments. But the pain I felt earlier was definitely real. So we can conclude that the curse of hers is quite dangerous. With that said, we shouldn't spend another second here. Let's leave the cemetery, quick. We don't know whether she's going to attack us again. I don't think she will. I mean, you, ha you have like the usual ghost attack and then you have a response attack. There was a response. She's not going after us. You should be okay here, right? No, it's bust up Skashman's domain. We better get farther away. Oh nice, there's the bus across the street. Come on, old man. Let's get on it. That should give us a greater breeding pool. She's going to chase us, like the Romer said. Hmm? Oh, it's old man Diamond. She always starts talking on his phone. But of typically bad etiquette when you're on a public transport with the only passengers, the driver probably doesn't want to make a fuss. Old man Diamond Watanabe are in the infirmary. This bus is going to the school, so we can just meet up with, with them in there. With them in there. Doop, 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 doop. Before long, the buzz arrives in, fr in front of Konoyahara Academy. Good. Dogs! I went to check. Uh, what are my dogs barking about? First of all, uh, there is people... Uh, since yesterday, there are people messing around with... Uh, like the internet's power box, apparently they're fixing something. They've been they've been doing it for like a few days. I wanted to risk streaming today anyway because I made a schedule and I thought maybe the problem was fixed. But it's just so um, like as a warning, there is a chance the connection may just fail. And the stream goes off. That is because they are uh, well, they decide to be little assholes and mess around with my internet cables when I don't have a problem. I'm gonna at least try to save somewhere. How do I run again? Yes. Wait. Where is it? Oh, it's you. Someone is coming this way. It's the boyfriend earlier. It's like it's counter spirit, spirit Dr. Yashiki. I can see it with my left eye. There are traces of that spirit in your arm. It's probably talking about the curse I got from Kashima. His strange phrasing aside, this boy clearly sees something. I'm impressed that he survived, but keep this in mind. You can't really um, rely on miracles forever. Let me warn you one more time. Give up. Hey, shithead. Cut the bullshit already. Why do you want your bastard? Shut your mouth, you love. It's heartbreaking to see the renowned spirit doctor as a delinquent as his, as his assistant. You're deficient in intelligence, spiritual capacity, and even character. Enough you more than an inst- What? At that moment, the boy stiffens. What's wrong? And then I'm thinking about them. Just imagining those myriad feet creeping around. That nodular body. Disgusting. Hey. Do you hate bugs or something? Don't just say that taboo word in front of me. Uh, sorry. 
apologies for coming undone. Speaking of, why did Student Council Vice President Kinokawa? She parted with us midway, she went back to the dorm. A what? I saw her getting off the bus. But she went to the school, not the dorm. Come again? Micho wasn't acting like herself earlier. Got a bad feeling about this. Beware. Be the part of this malevolence mal 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 is greater than you imagine. Do not dismiss my advice. It's for your own good and the well being of those around you. I shall take my leave. You do that. The boy leaves quickly. Oh, I should have asked his name. God damn it, Yashiki. One thing to do. You have one job. So we go to the infirmary or to the old school? Um... I wanna save the game. My internet's still up, but they're still messing around with the box. Damon Moya waiting inside. Sorry I'm late, Yashiki. I'll be joining your... I guess not. You okay? No need to worry. Always been in bad shape. This isn't anything new. Don't tell me to give up. You're not the only one chasing after the departed. Right? We're as frustrated as you. How's the investigation going so far? I tell them all the information we gathered up to this point. Sleep Mother Kashima, huh? It's been a while since I last heard that name. It used to be a hot topic five years ago. Hot topic? Do you know anything? Not really. That all happened before I started working here. Miss Sakamoto may know something though. She's been here for ages. Unfortunately, she's already so late. I doubt she's still here. Except she is. She apparently has come has some work to do. I saw her in the faculty room earlier. Sakamoto, huh? She hates me. I doubt getting info out of her is going to be a simple task. Hey old man. How about asking Akamatsu to look up to look into Kashima? He's at the mansion, isn't he? Put him to what oh, he's at the he's at my house. Get out of my house, you you, you, you weirdo. I mean he's oh, I'm being judgmental. He's an actually a nice guy, but I'm being I'm being, ju I'm being judgmental for the memes. He's actually a nice guy. I'm sorry about that. That's just me being a creep. I guess I'm the creep today. That's certainly a good option. Aita may find some useful information on the internet. I'll call him before we head out. You can contact Aita by selecting talk while in the infirmary. Oh, I can change to diamond now. Again. Chronically ill doctor. Uh, I can keep with that one guy until I have to change or something. I've been given a new. I've been given a new sacred object. Um, Mifuni Temple Straw Doll, Dorman Village Shiki Charm, Oso Rejima's Ganesha Statue, a Ganesha Statue, a Bag Enhancement Level Two. Um, I think the straw ball. Reduce two damage from super sensitive acts and events. Suspensive, suspensive. Acquiring this item will cause Tenro Shrine Guardian to lose. Oh, it, it upgrades. Checking your spirits, huh? Up one number of lost souls left in this chapter five. Good luck. You're gonna save the game. 
And they left. Oh, look at that. I guess they... No, they're still there. Wait. That's another company. Do I still have internet? Is the stream going? Uh, the stream is going. Um... Yeah, the stream is still going everywhere. It is not the same company from yesterday. Who are these guys? Can't see. Uh, whoa. Okay. Don't they? They looked at me. <laughs> okay. Don't stare at the devil. And the devil stares you back. You want to stare down? What do you want? Huh? What the hell do you want? Get out of here. I can chase you down, you know. I'm not afraid. Little bastard. Yeah, you better go. Shithead. And pick up the landline phone at the infirmary. I'm punching the number of Kujo Mansion. Little shitter. Hey, Eita. How you doing? Is that you, Mr. Yashiki? Yeah, I must have been waiting for my call. Why'd you wait until now to call? I was getting bored scrolling through forums and almost left the place, you know. When you sp Oh, he, he was investigating. I called Meira down and explained the current situation. Ah, that must be rough. So it's my turn now, huh? What do you want me to look into? Could you mention at night is so freaking creepy? This building is so old and spacious. I feel like something's gonna pop up. Don't check the attic. If you check the attic, don't open the tall box. Okay? If you don't know what it is, you don't open it. Okay? You stay on your computer. I don't know what a computer is. That is the safest place for you to be. Don't check the attic. You're gonna kill you. You're gonna kill the neighbor. You're gonna kill another rabbit. You're gonna kill everybody. Don't check the attic. I don't get used to that feeling. Really? I wanted to solve this case before I have to get used to anything like that. But you're the one who. Fuck you. You want the one. We wanted to be there. What is wrong with you? Finding information related to this leaf mark, Kashima. Okay, give me a sec. I'm checking it out. There's a post about Sleeve Mark Ashima in the H series spirit strat. Looks like it was a really old a really hot topic in the past. Any new info there? It pretty much lines up with the rumors I told me earlier. But this post includes a story about the students who became the Kashima in the rumors. It's from an unknown source though. No telling if it's true or someone just posting garbage. That's fine. Who is supposedly Kashima? Rei Kashima, a female student from Konohara Academy who killed herself five years ago. Unfortunately, it doesn't say anything about why she did that. So this human student became Sleeve Mark Kashima due to a grudge from her life. I need to find out about Rei Kash Kashima's grudges. Hey, I check if there is any Konohara Academy students who won a gold prize in any kind of competition. It doesn't have to be recent. Events from years ago are fine too. Okay, give me a sec. I'm checking it. Got it. I could only find one though. There's a fewer than there's fewer than I thought. Yeah, the schools are prep schools, so they're not at all invested in club activities. Anyway, who's the winner? Megumi Manabe, she won a gold prize in an art contest. What about her? She might be the next target. Can you find her address or phone number? I hope you can contact her. Ooh, excuse me. Hmm, they are a bit tough to track down since it's private information. Just having a potential lead on gold prize at NST is a win in my book. I just assume Manabe is gold prize and proceed with investigation. Got 
I should marry Sir to be a ghost spirit. That's all I could find quickly. The internet has a lot of information, but it's not omniscient, as far as you know. Talk to you later, bye! Bye, -bye bitch! Bay Kashima, a student who may be Kashima. Megumi Manabe, a student who may be Gold Prize. Both of them attended Konohara five years ago. It would be unlikely to find a current student who had useful information about them. But Sakamoto has been at the school for a long time, and knowledge may be key. Uh, where was she again? The stream is a bit delayed though. It's more delayed than it was before. Hmm. Sakamoto is the only one left in the faculty room. Judging by all the papers piled up on the desk, she's probably pulling overtime. Still investigating ghosts, Mr. Yashiki. What business do you have here? Just letting you know ahead of time. You're not gonna find any spiritual phenomena here. There is something I wanna ask you. Can you not see? I'm busy with work. You're interrupting me, please get out. Wait, someone's life is at stake. There might be more victims, like Horikoshi. And we spill the beans. Horikoshi, huh? The day we're investigating her, she disappeared. You claim a spirit, did that? Exactly, as, exactly as I said. Hanako of the toilet, just Hanako! I'm getting so triggered with that. Even though the headmaster told me to keep it a secret, so I've got no choice. I had to play that card so I have any, any hope of convincing her. Mr. Yashiki, I don't believe in the supernatural. Do you expect me to simply take your word on that? This is precisely why I was against the headmaster's idea of appointing you as a teacher here. And my stance hasn't changed. Your background, ability, looks, none of them are suitable for a venerable institution. I know that. <laughs> are you so aware of it? Let me perfectly clear. Let me be perfectly clear. I cannot stand your presence. Sakamoto just came out and made it clear. This is going about as well as expected. However, you said someone's life is at stake. And I can't just ignore that. It has nothing to do with my beliefs and my feelings about you. These are my core morality as a human being. A teacher has to set an example to the students. So you're gonna help us? Very big, big very, very bad. Yes. A very, I'm a very bad kind of person. Why do you ask me? There is nothing I want to talk about. There's something I've been curious about. Her necklace and wristwatch both have rabbits on them. Like rabbits or something. That's... It's nothing... I'm not going to answer such a private question. No, it's just... I'm feeling a bit nostalgic. My little sister really loved rabbits. That's all. I see. Are you her? I am my sister. You wanna be my own nature. <laughs> Stop it. That's the ghost story that was to talk on the campus five years ago, isn't it? I don't really know the details since I'm not interested. That's... that's all she said. Are you familiar with a girl named Megumi, Megumi Manabe in Sakamoto? She's an alumnus who won a gold prize in an art contest five years ago. What she do? What did she do? Is she part of the revolution? Miss Sakamoto? I don't really remember. It's been five years. I can't just ignore the fact that she froze for, for a moment there. She's hiding something she doesn't want to talk about. Leaf Mount Kashima is rumored to be Rei Kashim, Kashi, Rei Kashima, who committed suicide five years ago. Indeed, 
The rumor was quite prolific back then. Unfortunate and imprudent. I want to know more about the incident. What happened to Ray Kashima? Sorry, but I already forgot about it. That is so convenient. Like, just blame blame the old old lady memory. Just sure, yeah. What kind of an adult would be interested in ghost stories connected by some kids? One that cares about the school. Alright, didn't help anything. Screw you. Say, Mr. Yashki. Be sure to head to the school newspaper from back then if you want to learn more about Steve Makashima. School newspaper, you say? The newspaper club collected rumors circulating around the school and compiled it into an article. School newspapers are stored in a special archive in the library. Oh, microfiche? Am I gonna operate a microfiche? I think Sakamoto lived the web the baba. Microfish. Tiny little salmons. According to Sakamoto, there should be a school newspaper from five years ago around here. There may be some useful information about Sliff Malkashima. Let's find them. Oh, I'm moving. I should have brought a... Mm -hmm. What's his face? I forgot. Diamond. The goes from the library. This is the library's check checkout counter. There's nothing particular new. The way there's a tooth. Never been in a library before. Being around this many books makes me sleepy. But you're boring. Yes. There's a wooden book storage cabinet with a glass door. It seems to store special books that aren't allowed to leave the school premises. Konehara Academy School newspaper is reading how I found it. This is it. Let's have a look. Inside, I find chronological copies of the newspaper placed in a chronological. English is hard. Rumors about Kashima were making the rounds five years ago. Yeah, let's find articles about that. I find two articles that look promising. Which one should I read? Does it matter? Miss Sass's disappearance. It's Miss K's death, the revenge of the dead. Miss K from the third year is said to have disappeared from the main gates, according to a person who witnessed the events. I saw a bunch of scissors poking out of Miss K's body. She didn't look alive to me. For some reason, police completely disregarded the brave witness testimony and treated this case as a simple missing person case. Sadly, it appears when I've known the truth. Just before her death, Miss K went to a cemetery to visit grave to pay respects after her recent suicide. The two of them didn't get along well, so many assumed she only went there to score some brownie points with her teacher. If could held some resentment against her, she would have definitely seen through her, and she would have definitely taken revenge. Considering the way Miss K was killed and how her corpse went missing. One would not be surprised to think it was the work of something supernatural. It seems obvious that Miss K was murdered by the late <laughs> Grudge. This one seems to have some important information. I feel bad, but I'm going to need to borrow this without permission. Miss Sass disappearance to that doing. Word around the school is that Miss Sass has gone missing. A search warrant has been issued and police currently investigating the case. Miss Sass was last seen in front of the gymnasium. Rumor has she was trying to run away from something, looking back over her shoulder several times while she ran. She fled inside the gymnasium and was never seen again. Police checked the building, yet yeah, there was no trace of Miss Sass. The reason for that are obvious, there is no way she would be found. Grudge killed Miss Sass, so her corpse should have disappeared from this world. Same as what happened to Miss K. Hmm. To normal people, these articles might seem like nothing but groundless rumors. But when you dig deeper, we actually have some solid evidence since Miss K and Miss S cases have many things in common. Both of them are third years, so was two. 
What if they're in art club? Kurs was too. What if they didn't get along with Kurs? What if they visited her grave? Might have to... <laughs> okay, stop that. Got into sleep mods. And sure, Kashima claimed revenge. Not that Kashima is a spirit from form, he's sleep mod Kashima. Similar to the sleep mod woman. You know, this more and more sounds more like the work of a trooper than actual spirits. For sure. This article seems to have important information too. Sorry, but I'll also be taking this. I put the newspaper archive back on the bookshelf. What attacking Scrumpler's article? Well, at least they tried to pursue the truth. I guess I just believe that they got the basics correct. Sit on the faculty. Make it quick. Ah. I show Sakamoto the two newspaper articles. According to this article, student K and S were killed by Sleep Mao Kashima. Do you know anything about him? Let's see. I remember who K was supposed to be. The name of the student who disappeared in front of the school gate was Erika Kamio. Garden student was Kamio. She was a bright student, a mood maker, if you will. She was a little bit too carefree, though. I often scolded her for it. How about us? No clue. We have interacted with her. There were some students with initial S in the art club. It'd be nice if we had a way to check the names from them. Just refer to the graduation yearbook from that year. The students' names and clubs are written on it. Oh, okay, and what is it? You're quite fortunate today, Mr. Yashiki. Yearbooks are usually stored in the office, but I happen to have it with me today. It's convenient, but why do you have it? One of the students borrowed it. They're returning today. It's like another student is interested in graduation yearbook from five years ago. It might be just coincidence, but I can't help wondering. I just tell you the name of the student, since I'm certain he returned the past to me for it later, anyway. It was Abe from 3A. There you go, Mr. Ashki. Abe? Sakamoto picks up the yearbook from her desk and gives it to me. The yearbook is quite elegant, with the emblems of Konohara Academy engraved on its red cover. Let's check out who S is, old man. On the last page of the yearbook, there is a list of the year's graduates. Erika Kamio, who died prior to graduation, also has her name listed here. What kind of them? Allowing a student who died a violent death to still graduate. Nah. If only you can say that from some company. That's the key. <laughs> what a goddamn. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Don't worry about that. That's the case. S name should be here too. I begin to list down all the outcome students with initial S. You have three candidates. The first name is Haruki Shida, Hikari. The second is Saiko Shinohara. The last one is Miho Shinji. One of them must be student S who disappeared in the gymnasium. And if the rumors are true, she was killed by Kashima. A note was slipped into the, year into the yearbook. There's a torn bit of paper with some things scribbled on it. Roman has it, Miss S. Homer has it, Miss says, who disappeared into Genesis five years ago, still haunts the place. The wall in the storage room is dyed with black stains. There are traces of regrets left by the dead. Vengeful spirits make their appearance known to those who take interest in them. You must never touch that stain. Student has disappeared in the gymnasium five years ago. This is the case the school newspaper mentions. Rumor has, the spirits appear in the Genesis storage room. The note doesn't end there. Kashima's truth is entwined with the art club from five years ago. Therefore, no un to unhurt the past, 
We need to truly investigate the arts room with the old and new building. The art room in the old building, in particular, requires heavy scrutiny. Ray Kashma used to while away in her time there, often in the past. However, the building hasn't wasn't in use at the time. So what business would she have there? Why is it getting so hard to read? I guess it's because it's black tea is drying up my mouth. Keep drinking it. Also, my nose is getting cloggy. What kind of true flies flies dance? Dance? What the hell is dance? My left eye shall discern soon enough. Oh, this this that that asshole. The rider of this note's Abe is clearly looking into Kashima. He seems to have honed in on the art room since Kashima and the others used to use the art room. I have no idea who this Abe dude is, but he clearly knows what he's doing. Why don't we examine the art room ourselves? Right, I'm also curious about the gymnasium, the storage room, the place has sounds. Can we not? My words, how can a supposedly mature adult allow themselves to get worked up over ghost, some ghost rumors? I'll never understand that. That's my job. Can you tell me where the art room and gymnasium are? There are art rooms on the second floor in both new and old buildings, just above the music room. The gymnasium is near the special building. Here, take the keys with you. Explore to your heart's content. Oh, just one thing. There are no lights in the gymnasium. How convenient! Wait, is the gymnasium still in use? Yeah, that's true. I don't understand why, but the lights there act strangely whenever night falls. We asked the vendor to inspect it, but they never came. Well, it only happens at night, so thankfully it doesn't interfere with classes and club activities. Guess I'll be relying on my trusty flashlight while exploring the gymnasium. I almost forgot. Can I borrow this yearbook? Sure. Handle it with care. You're going to pay compensation if you get it dirty. Bye. Moving on. Thanks, Sakamoto, and leave the teacher's room. So there is three places to explore. All right, so we have several candidate spots to explore. Where shall we begin? The gymnasium is near the special building. Should we head there first? I should examine the art rooms in the new and old buildings first. We're on the second floor. Hmm. Oh. Ah, uh, the gym is here. I leave the special building and walk to the gym. I narrate every single move that I do until I open the goddamn door. Didn't she say the light's not on for the night? You think it's cause, uh, you know. Perhaps. Chill struck up my spine. I have a very bad feeling all of a sudden. There is no turning back now. And they are back, messing around. What the hell is going on? And they are back, messing around with the internet cables. Again, if the uh, internet fails and the stream goes down. Uh, I'll think about it. What is this feeling? I feel strange chills and intense pressure the moment I enter the gymnasium. Damn, it's so suffocating in here. <laughs> oh, did I fail? Did a part of slap is ringing in my head? This is also a part of the curse. Staying here for too long would do me any good. It were better than end the investigation quickly. Tutorial! Once you enter a cursed place, your spirits will decrease, even if you simply stay in the area. Also, you can't run. Keep a watchful eye on your spirit guide and escape from danger. When places are cursed, there is always a source. Explore the vicinity while paying attention, close attention to the remaining spirits. I can only go for it. Oh, it's going down kind of fast. Oh, it doesn't go down when I'm checking things, okay. Cannot run! 
can only walk out of other space and missing something fall small falls on the floor. It's a black tooth. Confuse severe chills radiating on my palm. It's a severe cold being generated by this tooth occurs. The old man, don't you think this thing is the reason we're getting worn out? Yeah, I think so. Certainly one thing to do with this then. Kick it up the curb. So snatches the cursed tooth and slams it on the floor. The cursed tooth shatters into pieces. What the hell, man? I hear a frustrated scream. Then, then my chills subside. My chills, uh, my chills, my well, whatever. How's that? It was an impressive decision, I know. But everything's worked out pretty all right. Impulsive decision. Stop the curse. In order to stop the curse, you need to shatter the cause of the phenomena. The cursed tooth. Find the cursed tooth hidden in the cursed place and break it. My tooth! Emergency exit that connects to the fields. That is to I can run now. Right. Yoshi. I don't basket for balls. They forget to tidy it up. No, they are they are pretty tidy for me. What else do you want? Oh, I see that. Inside the room, all kinds of sport equipment for PE class are being arranged. It seems like it's the storage room. This place doesn't feel right. Let's just hurry up and finish whatever we need to do here. It's a mattress. That P is on the mattress. A sloppily folded math. Is it just me or is there some dark objects moving behind the shadow on the map? What the heck? Curtis has ignored it. Nah, I'm just... Someone needs to help the spiders move around, come on. I put my feet from the vaulting box in front of me with one hand on the map. And then I swiftly lift it up, lift it up at once. A massive swan of black Things but stop scattering everywhere. They're bugs, aren't they? Probably. Find something on the map. It's a tooth. Brown, brown, brown. One sec. Cool. A few large rubber balls are lined up here. Don't you usually use these for core training? My school doesn't have this, but I know about it. What's that? Some random shuffling. Oh well. Cool. There are black stains across the wall. Which is what... Is this what Abe was referring to about it? The walls dyed with black stains. He used notes. He should examine it well. Touch it. I inspect like the black stains... It looks like the black stains are losing from the wall. What's causing this? Dust? Defective building materials? Molds? Even after examining it closely, you still can't tell what it is. Hey, old man. That stain kind of resembles a face, don't you think? Now that he mentions it, this stain does look kind of like a human face or something. Oh, oh! Okay. I I looked at uh, at my cell phone on the stream, and I I saw it a little bit better. Okay, because I thought like this was the face, this was the body, and this was like hands on the wall. Like someone just tried to get to the wall, and for some no no no, these are eyes. This is a nose. This is a big old mouth. Okay, and the uh, the lining on the uh, on the lantern makes it looks like a a head. Huh. Okay, it makes more sense in a smaller picture. Abe mentioned this in his note. The wall in the storage room is dyed with black stains, there are traces of regrets left by the dead. You must not you must never touch the stains. And never touch the stains, huh? I'ma touch it. I'ma touch you my little fingers. I step further inside and approach the stains. Come on, man, you said to never touch them. I'ma touch it. I'ma touch it. 
I'm not touching it. I'm actually extend my fingers and touch the stain. Will eventual spirits really appear? Jump scare! Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> Where is my... Okay, there it is. Stupid rumor ain't true. <laughs> I hear something. It sounds like someone moaning, I think. Oh, hi. You're lanky. You're new. Who are you? You're not the one I'm looking for. How did that happen? Huh. If I already know it, she's already there. A female student with scissors, uh, more like growing from the middle of her head, for sure. This is the fence for spirits from the rumor. Is it just me or are the scissors piercing through their head strangely huge? Could this be the spirit of student ass when missing at the gymnasium? The fact that she appears this way means. Yo man, what are you gonna do? Escape? Nah, we're looking for the truth behind Kashima. We can't leave now. Oh, maybe that was a uh, Yashkin talking. Am I dead? You don't know. I'm pretty sure you're dead. No way. What should I do? Go. Go? Try to? Um, how do I help you with that? Hmm. Okay, I do know. But, um... There is really no game over CGs to be to get from this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm thinking. How should I tell the spirits about her death? Is it newspaper article B. Because A is the girl that died on the on the gate. Uh, here by Kashima. B, yeah. We show the news article B to the spirits of the female students and points to the cause of death. Eighty-two percent, by the way. If the students in this article is you, then your death was caused by Kashima. I knew it. Kashima had something to do with her death. Looks like this is the right choice. Of course it is. I don't know who I am. She just asked who I am. Who am I? I guess she doesn't rem even remember her own name. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. Your book? Uh... Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. She could be anybody. I should have gone to the arts room first. I guess it doesn't matter now. There's only two points. You point a name in the yearbook, trying to let her know her name. Are you kidding me? Did I drop the yearbook? Are you... God damn moron. There is two grown up men, quote unquote, holding one tiny little book. And both of them managed to drop it. Your name is really in the album. 
Mirror Shinji from the art, art club. Are you? Are you ready? The slides right. Oh, okay, that's Miho. Ladies and gentlemen, Miho. She's gone. That's nice. Apparently. Fixing mass. The ghost of Miho Shinji disappears. Something lying on the ground where the spirit stood earlier. It's a folded piece of note paper. Adorable. Oh, they're back on. There is another car. They're going up there. Uh, this time is the proper uh, internet business people. Uh, yeah, now it's for real. My internet may fall any second. There, Miss Hirose. I was so happy when I got a birthday present from you. I really treasured it and it really tells me how you feel about me. Because you're an adult, you can't say the words, right? That's fine with me. I can feel that our hearts are connected. I love you so much as you love me. It's a shame my graduation is still so far away. Once I graduate, we will no longer be student and teacher. We can stand beside one another as equals. My world... What happened there? There's a demon coming out. My mother will surely love you. I want to build a happy family with you one day. Looks like a love letter. One that is addressed to a teacher. Someone's overdoing the lovey dovey vibes with the nose, but this time is actually supposed to be a love letter. Building a happy family together? Six should get ahead of herself. She is pure terror. The chick, the love letter, or the family thing? What is wrong with your show? I turned on the spot where the ghost was standing. Did Miho Shinji write this? What? Ugh. Sudden dizziness sends me reeling. This feeling. No way. A vision is projecting into my brain. In my mind, I see three girls talking in what looks like an art room. Why did you call us here, Manabe? I have a prep class soon. Teacher whining read, read this letter already. That bitch simply slipped into his teach. Blah. That bitch slipped this into the teach's notebook. Sketchbook. Whatever. I have a god, whatever. I don't fucking care anymore. Seriously? Are they dating or that? Or what? What are you gonna do, Manabe? You love him, don't you? It's gonna be hers at this rate. Ah, shut up! I know already! I'm out of my mind. I'm gonna do the thing. Do the thing, Manabe! Yep, my internet's failing. For real? Both you and him are gonna be in such deep shit if you do that. Ah, oh, come on, Shinji. My has already made up her mind, you know. But her friend, so we should support her decision, right? Fine. Kamio and I will be hiding then. Make sure you're ready to capture the crucial moment, okay? Okay. This is how I'm gonna take him back from her. What do you do with this letter, though? Keep it, Shinji. May be able to use it in case your plan fails. Division fades, as does my dizziness. My heart rate is returning to normal. Two. The three girls are sorted now, where Manabe, Kamio, and Shinji. Was that seen from five years ago? Why is it Go away. Hey, old man. You okay? I'm fine, just feeling a little lightheaded. Alright, still don't overdo it. Should I tell Sho about what I saw? 
I'm not entirely sure what that really was happening though. I got him on information to avoid leading him down the wrong train of thought. Oh, the infirmary. That's fine. With one crisp twist to the key, the door to the arts room opens. A crisp twist. Yoshi. Blank canvases are placed on the shelf. A leaning closer and a moldy scent and a moldy scent hits my nostrils. Spirit sure is moist, huh? Not a fan. Ah, fan. Yoshi. The paintings are sorted on a shelf so that they don't overlap. They probably wanted to let the bed dry. Then I look at the top drawing. I know that the edges of the paper have been eaten by moths. I don't get it. This drawing is in old. I was already moth feeding. Um, infiltration. Storage room. Cool. This is a stage for modeling. Several easels surround this short podium. Is this where an arts model usually stands? For new drawings and that sort of thing. It, it's not always new drawings. Why your mind goes to that? Sometimes it's just posing. There's nothing on top of the podium and the canvases are all blank. Hello. There are a lot of coloring materials inside the cupboard. In particular, there's a lot of red. Makes me wonder what they've been drawing. No, a lot of blood. Hey, old man. <clears throat> What's crack? There's something behind this cupboard. I saw a glimpse of it thanks to the flashlight. Is that a, a metal pencil case? Can you pick it up? Ah, uh, nope. I stick what not fit in there, much less my arm. I gotta move the cupboard first. Except this thing is so goddamn heavy. Maybe we could move it if we work together. Let's give it a shot, show. Hell yeah. This leave the muscle work to me. You pretty much only have strength in your, your, in your profile. I place my hand on the left edge of the cupboard while shows on the right. On the count of three. Three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven. Let's go. We start counting on three. There we go. And show when I synchronize our efforts, the thing moves. Ah, nice work. Here's the pencil case. The pencil case I received for a show is an elegant item pressed from a solid brass plate. Ooh. Answer. His honor's name is engraved upon it. Sosuke Hirose. Sosuke. He holds a brown pencil and a blue pencil. They're from a brand I've never heard before. I'm guessing they are used for sketching. In order to test my hunch, I tried to scribble using the pencils to see if I can detect any difference. Are they softer? I see. Are they softer or they harder? There is a difference between a normal pencil and a sketch pencil. I don't remember, it's been a while. The brown pencil feels a bit smoother than the blue pencil. Seems like the pencils have different legs, so they feel different. Maybe they use it for different things. If you're that interested in them, just skip the case, old man. I should hold on to it. I do have to bring it back to the owner. I think someone just lost their case behind the heavy ass cupboards. They're way too much of a do good at some point. Obtain a brown pencil and a blue pencil. Not a pencil case, just each pencil separately. We have some monarchs. There's a rough sketch in the desk. He's probably been here for quite a while, judging from the dust on the face and shoulders. There are some art supplies on the shelf. These are probably used for class. I shouldn't touch them without permission. And now I got were pencils from this ordeal. Are you sure about that? I didn't get jump scared by the... Uh, by that one fat ass thing yet. It's kinda fat. It's kinda big. But I get out of here. That's fine.
The Explorer on mean so it's kind of sad right now. Yes. The shelf is quite dusty. I guess it's been neglected for some time. Uh, like someone else. There's nothing inside. Uh, like my soul. <laughs> There's something on top of the shelf. I reach up and grab the tin shell spot. It's a sketch pad. Why is it here when the old building isn't used for classes anymore? It was forgotten. I flip this sketch pad open. The book is filled with drawings of flowers. Hydrangea on the first page, bell flowers on the second, and cosmos on the third. The rest of the book is blank. Let me see too. Yeah, sure. I hand the sketchbook pad to show. It comes undone. I direct my attention towards the back of the art room while they're checking out the pad. The only thing that catches my eye is a canvas on an easel. Why is that canvas just sitting there? I wasn't put it was forgotten. It's as if someone is still using the art room. It was full of cobwebs. Not surprising though. You can focus on drawing without getting interrupted here. What's that sound? It sounded oddly familiar. You're more broken than the other time I saw you. I have some pieces missing. A female doll wearing a red dress emerges through the darkness. Where's your arm? Staring to her broken face at a pair of sparkling prism eyes, staring straight at me. No matter how hard I tried to speak, I could only let out a hoarse groan as if a piece of cloth had been stuffed inside my mouth. Meanwhile, Sho keeps examining the sketch pads, unaware of the doll's presence. Once again, it's as if I'm the only one who can see her. Hmm? Hands. The dog grabs my arm with a cracked right hand. My vision goes blurry. My consciousness is fading. Is she trying to show me something? Ugh, flashback. Why are you drawing, teacher? Was that a flower? What do you want, Manabe? Oh, say. You gave something to her, didn't you? Do you love her? Ah, it's not like that. I simply want to support her future endeavors and dreams. Ah. Come without me then. I put all my I put it my all into winning that gold prize so that it allowed me back. What are you saying? Don't joke around like that with your teacher. I'm not joking around though. I'm being serious here. Hey, what are you? Oh, great. I love you. What's going into you, Manabe? Get away from me and put your clothes back on. I told you I'm serious. <laughs> I thank God is over. Ah, oh, it's a picture. That's kind of cringe. The vision is gone, and so is the female doll. I just witnessed a student trying to seduce her teacher. Since he called her Manabe, that means Manabe must be gold prize. Which also means that vision I just saw just must be from five years ago. But I still don't understand. Why did that doll only show this vision to me? The old man! What? What are you spacing out for? Let's get back out of there. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, okay. What are you gonna do with this sketch pad? The female doll appeared when I put my hands on the sketch pad. Which makes me think it's connected to Kashima's case. 
Let's bring it with us. Unfinished sketch pad. Can I see that? Mm. A range of bell flowers and cosmos are softly drawn the three pages. Did I read this last stream? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Strong solid lines, soft delicate lights. Ah, huh, okay. Mm -hmm. There's a small iron bucket. Do they use this to wash paintbrushes? I inspect it just in case, but there's nothing inside. Oh, okay. Dang it. Look at all these pebbles lying around. Nothing that catches my eye, though. They could be bones. They could be bones. They, they actually... Um, tooth. It, it escaped my mind. There's a blank canvas on an easel. There shouldn't be anyone using this place anymore. Who put this here? I don't like the fact that this is here. Don't you dare say that the spirit did this. Boo. Hmm. One corner of the wall is, is dented and cracked. Black mold is growing through the cracks. Looking closely, there's something small stuck in one of the cracks. It is, I try to pull it out and it clatters under the floor. And it is a tooth. It is a tooth. A roller cabinet. When I open the door, I, I'm greeted by the dank, musty odor of molds. It kind of smells like ink. I direct my flashlight at the inside, though there's nothing here. Oh, oh god. What happened? A loud sound emanates from the other side of the door. The sound of something falling and breaking. Oh, let's get in. The art storage room is pitch black. I can't see anything inside, heightening my other senses. As a result, my hyper-focused hearing causes my pulse to pound in my ears. There is a wet slushing and plopping sound. Plopping? And the sound of clothes... Oh, oh, oh god. A girl whispers to her teacher in a sensual voice. There's someone in the back of the room. I slowly guide my torch towards the... I can't say flashlight anymore. It's starting to sound kind of sussy. Oh! Hi. You're... Big. What I illuminate is a mango's monstrous creature. Her mouth is lit from ear to ear. She's also got sharp pointed fingers resembling scissors. Whatever she is, she's not Leaf Spot Kashima. This thing looks entirely different from the entity I saw at the cemetery. It's like there is three ghosts to this place. A tentacle like tongue wraps around a broken plaster statue. She licks it repeatedly, over and over again. She then sweetly whispers into the statue's ear. Her head is white. You love me too, right? Love me more than her. She's too preoccupied with the statue to even notice her presence. It is a great opportunity to run away. But wait. Her distinctive white hair and her Konoe Hara Academy uniform. No way. Is that Michio Hokinokawa? Is she being possessed by a spirit? If that's the case, that explains her malformed appearance and lewd behavior with the statue. Why are you not answering? How my name? She's pleading to the statue, her voice hoarse. Her name, huh? 
She's transfixed by the Sparta statue. Blaster. There's a possibility I can trigger a reaction and distract her. Can I distract her by calling her name? Um. Manabe. Manabe! She's now responding. The statue has got a film hold on her. Okay, so I guess it wasn't that. Need your hope? Really? Hashima? Teacher is there too. Which one is my teach? I don't know. Possessed by Kashima, Michio lets out a scream before collapsing on the floor. She's not moving at all. She's probably passed out. Is she normal? Her appearance says Osri- Oh, good, good. Put her clothes on. What the hell was that? Nope. Impossible. Show is clearly shell-shocked by the supernatural incident he just witnessed. Put yourself together, Show. I'm gonna get Michio back to the infirmary. Okay. With the help of Sho, I lift Michiho onto my back. After that, we leave the old building. That's something new, I like that. It's pretty big. Once we return to the infirmary, we lie her on the bed. Mr. Huishi. I tell Diamond and Moya about what happened in the arch room. How is she doing, Diamond? Her condition is fine, no injuries and her pulse is normal. I never expected that she get possessed by a spirit though. Of, of Diamond's voice. Hey, old man. <clears throat> Where do you think the cow was possessed? That incident at that cemetery, most likely. I think that's when Sleeve Mount Kashima must have taken over her body. She said she sensed her presence so strongly back then. Was that why she lost consciousness? Wait. I'm thinking. I'm cooking. Hold on. Then my brain works. Uh, just a second. Um, wow. Okay, this spirit is actually the worst, if I'm right. Oh, you're back. Why am I in the infirmary? Oh, you're awake. What are you feeling? I'm fine. Why am I here? I explained the sequence of events to the confused Michiho, including what happened in the art storage room. It's probably shocking and embarrassing for her, but I have to. I'm in dire need of any information regarding Sleep Mount Kashima. Oh, I see. So, love, that wasn't a dream. Nope. You remember. Not a really, though. You have questions for me, don't you? Ask away. Um. Why were clinging to the statue? <laughs> the first thing to ask. Her expression turns green. Even though she was possessed, she still disgraced herself in front of others. She's flighty and free-spirited, but she's still a child. She probably doesn't want to recall it. You don't have to answer my question if you don't want to. That's not it. I have no memories of what I did to the statue, but, but that's good. But I remember hugging a man. He was lean and quite good looking, but I think compared to you, oh, good, thanks. So I just saw was human. Correct. The moment I laid my eyes on him, I couldn't control my passion. I guess that's what you call love, don't you think? No, that's just like... That's... I don't know. You mean after I got to the bus, right? 
I really wasn't feeling well, so I rode the bus straight back to school. But when I was about to go to the dorm, I heard that voice. What voice? The one from the rumor, you know? Yukami Ocean Jimona Bay. Okay, so I made a little bit of research of what Jimon's supposed to mean. I said it meant cockroach, but I don't know why. I guess I had someone else in my mind. But it means, like, sacred? Like, blessed, sacred, protected, something like that? I mean, I just found the name Jimon definition. So Jimon is prob probably being used as a name here. Maybe. Before long, my mind began to drift off and I don't really remember anything afterwards. The voice in my head told me to go there. Teacher's waiting in the old building's art room. Who's the teacher? They didn't say a name, but now that I think about it, it doesn't make any sense, huh? But at the time, I didn't think about it at all. So I just went to the art room. Summarizing all the information I got from Michiho, led by Kashima's voice, she went to the old building art room. The voice told her teacher is waiting there. And when she got there, she found an attractive man that was actually a pasta statue. And then she got all over it and started licking his ears. She wanted to become a weird SMR artist, but was lacking a microphone. If the feelings I had belonged to Kashima, that means she was in love with the teacher. She took over my body to meet him. That's all I can say, I guess. Does that help? Yeah, thank you. So Kashima loved the teacher. Even after that, her feelings remained strong. If her feelings weren't reciprocated, that love could have turned into hatred. If you can find out who the teacher is, that'd be a big step towards discovering Kashima's grudge. I'll be going home then. As much as I want to help, I need a shower. I don't want to be a hindrance. Want me to see you to the dorm? Nah, it's fine. I can't trouble you more than this. What if something happens to you? Are you worried about me? I'm flattered. Anyway, if something does happen, I should you come to save me. Bye bye! Michiho, Michiho waves her hand except which one? The heck? Does she have no sh- I- she- Probably does. But you know, much rather play it off than to extend it. What a self settled and pushy chick. Says who? I'm so close to replying you want to talk, but I hold my tongue. Is that a dog? It might be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shall we resume our investigation, Yashiko? Um, one sec. Better take care of, better take a closer look at the art storage room Kenokawa was in. There might be some clones about this teacher. Yeah, I'm gonna trade. What you need, I need your sacred objects. Yeah. I I lose my Daruma, no. Oh. Can I just go to the coding and say that the Daruma is the best object ever? There is two more on the chapter. Okay. Guys, it makes sense. Like, each chapter has about eight, since every object costs like two or something. A change to diamond. But a quick sec. Uh, I don't need to talk to anybody. I don't care. They're just gonna tell me, go to the art storage room! And I'm, and I'm shy. Just get in there. The ghost was in the air.
Oh, fine. Which, which, which means there is still one extra room I haven't found yet. Which probably has the uh, the tooth that I'm missing. Because there is going to be one here. Somewhere. Nice. Mm -hmm. There's a steel cupboard which has clearly been through some things, judging by the dents on the door. The door doesn't budge at all when I try to open it. The rail seems to be buckled. Huh, <laughs> guess my turn now. Thanks, Simon. Simon wraps his fingers around the handle and gives a forceful tug. And just like that, he easily opens the door. Way easier than opening up a patient. God, don't say it like that. Is that? There's a notebook inside a cup. That's not what I meant to find, for sure. It's a ring binder with a fancy cover. The initial A sec. A sage. A sex. Well, I engraved on it. There are entries reading inside the binder. It looks like a, now, now I'm laughing. God damn it. The letters etched by a pencil. I feel we run from softness. Mm. I find some familiar names on the last page of the diary. Ray Kashima is a passionate student. Unlike other female students, her eyes are not just fixed on me, but also the work I am doing on the canvas. Though the paintings she, she submits are always lacking in technique, it is easy to any, for anyone to see that they have been painted in earnest. For me, spending quality time with myself in the old building, in the old building's art room, and focusing on my drawings are the happiest moments in my daily life. I told Kashima this, other, this yesterday. Then she asked me to permit her to draw next to me, and promised that she wouldn't bother me. Kashima says she wanted to be a hairdresser like a mother. Growing up with a single mother, she must really look up to her mom. I like to support her dream, so I gave her hairdressing scissors on her birthday. She was really pleased with the gifts, and said that she considered it her treasure. I lost my favorite pencil case. Where could it have gone? I really loved the mirror glow on the brass. Kashima offered to get me a new one. It was a nice thought, but an inappropriate one. It seems I've gotten way too close to her. I need to tread carefully. Kashima asked me to draw three of her favorite flowers. Hydrangea, bell flowers, and cosmos. At her behest, I drew some rough sketches of the flowers. She should understand my feelings toward her after seeing which flower I drew first. Huh? I don't understand flower theory. For me to just smell. I understand color theory, I understand sound theory. I don't understand flowers. Mm. I mean, I tried to make a guess in another game about the use of flowers, but when I did that, I was wrong. And I didn't even bother to correct myself out of shame, so I, I'm not gonna bother anymore. I use flower language to convey my feelings. Quite, oh, quite romantic, I forgot I was diamond. What's the floriography for hydrangea, bell flowers, and cosmos? Don't ask me. What do you know about bones and muscles? There may be a book about floriography in the library. Hydrangea, bell flowers, and cosmos. They're the same flowers drawn in the sketch pad we found in the art room. They must be the sketches this diary was referring to. Do we have the diary? He didn't say- no, no, goddammit. He didn't say if we- Hi. He didn't say if we kept the diary or not. Uh, but, but. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I looked at this on the corner before, this um, thing here. I thought it was like a wooden puppet. It's just some scratches and some cobwebs, I think. I can't really f zoom on that. We look like a wooden puppet on the corner. Um, get the mouse away. Can I look at that? No. 
You know what I miss? The random ghost faces on the walls. Like sometimes it would just put a flashlight in a corner and then there would be a face in there. And then you focus on flashlight and it would just go mm -hmm. There are some arts related items inside the old shelf. And there's a gap behind it. Hmm? I turn my flashlight towards the gap and find something small rolling on the back. Uh, however, the gap is too narrow for my arm. Even my fingers can reach the thing. I'd probably be able to get it out if I had something thin to stick in there. Okay, this is important. Um, hmm. Statue of someone with a muscular body. Its bulky torso and arms are stained with mold. <laughs> Moldy nipples. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> a shattered plaster figure is lying on the floor. When Michiro was possessed by Kashima, she was hugging the statue thing was a teacher. Time to inspect it. Who knows, maybe find something useful. I can't make half the jokes that I'm thinking. Upon examining it, I find something that doesn't look like the rest of the statues. Oh, oh, oh. oh don't, don't help me. It's a tooth. Yay! Um, okay. Something in the gap. Use the uh, pencil. That reminds me, I think I got something I can use. I used the item to extend my reach and fished a small thing out of the gap. Oh, there's another tooth. Nice, managed to get it out this side. It is, it's the last tooth. Alright. A new page has been added to Sho Nagashima, Eita Nakamatsu, and Ritsu Sakamoto's entries. Ritsu. You. All pages unlocked. Yep. Page 38, October 1st, Occupation Konohara Academy Teacher Hobbies. Visiting petting zoos. Okay. Favorite item rabbits, accessories. Favorite item rabbits have accessories. Lines, hello, Sai goodness. Yurika Takagi. Okay. Um. Oh, this information is unlocked. Okay. Naomi Horikoshi profile, 17 July 3rd, gonna have the students to be hobby shopping, favorite item, branded handkerchief. Oh, you have a lot. High fashion, black tea, favorite item, quartz type in. Lines, oh my, what is it? Goodness gracious, oh my goodness. Do you have why do you have three pages? Likes brand name goods. Dislikes property. Poverty. Stats uh, those. Okay. You have three as well. She can you shut up. Oh my god, shut up man. You you speak more than a girl's. Hobbies riding a motorbike. Head hand grip. Okay, likes K fuck. Hey old man. Yota Nak Nakamura. No, no, go back. Shut up. Dislikes, like spirits, and teachers. Oh, he really must hate me right now. Okay. 33 years old. Huh. Still older than me. Surfing the internet. Favorite added the bandana. Okay. Masahiro Kase. Part time rider pursuing the occult. The cat. Yurika Takaki. She's 16. 44. Okay. Still older than me. Work, play music, old stethoscope. Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't been feeling well. Ryo Nezuka. Guts 
He's in the oh, no, shot. 19. Well, I guess there is an excuse to put her on a less glory than the other female students so far. She's the only one who's over 18. Not 21, though. Not 31. Don't touch it. It's like seafood people. That's genetic. Why do you dislike? Coffee? Dislike crowds. Likes coffees with sugar. Well, a man after his own interests. 62. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hello, Dario. Oh no, in his 40s. You are 14 years old. Are you kidding me? No, you're not. This guy looks younger than me. How are you 14? How are you 40? Not 14. Um. What was it? Uh, just go back home. Still in the middle stage. Uh, is um, this one? Books about plants arranged on the shelf. Yeah, because the first one has like books about history and, and other non important things right now. Man, my memory is insane. Now that I think about it, flower language was mentioned in the, blind, in the binder we found in the old building. Are there any books about floriography here? Bingo. I grab a book about floriography from the shelf and look for the entries about hydrangea, bell flowers, and cosmos. Hydrangea. Blue flowers are bloom from early to mid summer. In floriography, it is used to indicate frigidity. Regrets and capriciousness. Bell flowers. Bluish purple flowers are bloom from summer to autumn. The floriography of the bell flower is unravering love. Cosmos. Before modern day culti cultivars became predominant, cosmos were short day plants, so the white, peach, and red flowers bloom in autumn. It is used to represent harmony and the pure heart of a maiden. This may be useful for our investigation, let's borrow it. It might not. Not seeing the light of day again. I don't think we're supposed to borrow books without permission, but this time I'll make an exception. Shut up, Diamond. Say, Yashiki. I think we've done a solid job of gathering information about Kashima. At this point, we might benefit from organizing our thoughts before continuing. How does that sound to you? Sure, let's go back to the infirmary and discuss what we learned with the others. I can. All I need to do is check this. Um, hydrangea, bell flowers, and cosmos are softly drawn on three pages. But which one is first? If it begins with hydrangea, what is it? Hydrangea and faithful, bell flowers, eternal love, cosmos, harmony. How do I leave? Let's share all the information we've gathered so far with the other mark bearers. See if again, because why not? Let's share all the knowledge we've gained with the other mark bearers. Mm, a super complicated case with a bunch of people involved, huh? In situations like this, my boss always tells me to organize the information chronologically. Yeah, it's all started with Rei Kashima, uh, Kashima, whatever, and uh, her teacher's love affair. Kashima seemed to be blindly in love with the teacher. The love letter he found at the gymnasium makes it pretty obvious. Kashima must have written that. That feeling sure was intense. She got a paralysis from him and started thinking about marriage. Who's the teacher? 
There may be a clue about the teacher's identity among the items he collected. Um, this? The notebook probably belonged to the teacher. So that teacher had initial way sage, and he, and he was the art teacher. And he said he lost his brass pencil case somewhere. Oh, um... Didn't we have to, like, look for information about the three students uh, in the art room? I guess since I kind of brute forced the puzzle, I don't really have to do that anymore. I mean, just think about it. Like, the game told me, like, oh, you have three places to explore, but the gymnasium is closer. I'm like, oh, okay, let's go to the gymnasium. But then you go to the gymnasium, the gymnasium tells you, well, in order to finish this, you have to go to Narnia to get information over there. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm here now. Hold on, does that mean... Yeah, it's most likely the Pesuke okay shown I found. Sosuke Hirose is engraved on the case. On our unknown teacher initial, I say, are A-S-H? S-H? The notes in the case belong to the same person, that could only mean one thing. Impressive, Yashiki. I agree with you. The teacher Kashima was in love with was so Sosuke Hirose, the art teacher. He didn't strike me as someone who was hopelessly in love with his students, though. Even if he had Mark Kashima, he still maintained his distance as a teacher. Though he never let Kashima know what was he what that's what he was doing. If he made that clear, Kashima wouldn't just cling to her love in the afterlife. What a passionate girl. I can't believe she continued to love her teacher even after death. So what made her become a spirit anyway? It is strange. The dead only become spirits if they have grudges. Which means that Kashima remains in this world because she's trying to avenge herself. So that's a grudge? We have yet to discover that, but... The target's mentioning the rumor. Wait, for real? Uh, uh, what? Which part of the rumor points us towards Sleeve Mark Kashima's target? Um, Oh, Kashima's words? Is the thing she chants. Yukami Ocean Jimon. I still have no idea what that means. That's a target. What? You're not making any sense. That's just a bunch of random crap. What's that pointing to anything? Sound it out and think about it, show. This is what she actually says. What? Is it a goddamn translation issue? Oh, thank you for telling me that. I would never have figured. Like, I hate it. Kashima searching for the fellow club members. Kamio Shinji and Manabe. She's definitely going to avenge herself. It's a goddamn translation problem that I didn't know how to how to make it. So, instead of like trying to figure out a better way to do it, he just said that it is Leon written upside down, but it's actually numbers. Just like not in that order. Like... Like, I get that, but I hate when it happens. Sometimes it's just, it just, just happens. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. But Kamiya and Shinji are. Exactly. Kashima already killed them five years ago. But she doesn't realize that. For her, time's probably stood still since the moment of her death. I wonder why she despised the three of them. So, the truth about that. I was shown a strange vision on two different occasions when we were investigating. I recount the scenes as out to the other three. The first one was a scene of Manabe skimming something after discovering Kashima's love letter. 
The other one was a scene of Manabe seduing the teacher, along with the son of Shudder. Oh, a spiritual vision! That's so amazing! No wonder you called the spirit doctor. I'll pitch that story to my book. Oh, come on, Watanabe. Take this more seriously. So, in short, Manabe and her friends are attached to plots that drive, that drive Kashima and the teacher apart. So that's why Kashima despises them. Alright. I have no idea what happened to Kashima and her beloved teacher after that. What the hell? That's literally the most important piece of the info we need to discover Kashima's grudge. That's a big sentence. Uh, Yashiki. Miss Sakamoto might know something about it. She was working here when it happened. Didn't she tell me something like that? She hates my guts. With this much evidence, I don't think she can evade the questions anymore. Plus, you can always drop Miss Konoe's name if push comes to shove. It's like the time to wrap the dark secrets of the tragedy five years ago has come. A tragedy that originated with Kashima's love. Or did she and Dere all over the teacher or something? Still the middle stage. What else could you possibly want from me, Mr. Yashiki? It's getting quite late and I want to go home. I just wanted to ask you one last question before that. Before that, I want to know the truth behind the incident five years ago. I'll tell her what I've learned about the relationship between Kashima and her teacher, as well as Manabe and the others. Did you can cover that much so quickly? Just who on earth are you? I am... a spirit doctor. Tell me, Miss Sakamoto. What did Manabe and the others do five years ago? What happened to Kashima and Hirose? I should never have worked over time tonight. Not only did I work late, but now I'm forced to recover an unpleasant incident. Sorry about that. Oh hush, it's too late for your apologies now. So what do you want to know? True. Because it may affect the school's reputation, I can't let outsiders know about it. I'm not an outsider. Just recalling the incident after you brought it up is already causing me great discomforts. I swear to god, if she doesn't talk, I'm gonna make her spill it. All over the place. And on the floor. And on the walls. But how did it get there? Five years ago, a picture was posted on the school's bulletin board. It was Mr. Hirose and a female student in her underwear. That student was Megumi Manabe from, from third year. Naturally, we called, in, we called in both and inquired about the incident. Manabe admitted she was the girl in the picture, but claimed Mr. Hirose sedu seduced her first. Meanwhile, Mr. Hirose denied it and claimed Manabe had set him up. Unfortunately for him, Manabe's father was a prominent figure in its of course. In order to protect his daughter's future, he placed all the blame squarely on Mr. Hirose. The lad of Mr. Hirose being dismissed in disgrace. Just look at this man's displeased face. This is this the man of someone who wants to be hugged from behind by a, a scatterly clothed teenager? I mean, who am I to judge? Mr. Hirose was a delicate, artistic person. The dismissal and surrounding circumstances left him unable to even draw due to stress. Then he turned to alcohol. Oh god. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the bridge. Never mind. Late one night when he was driving, his car plunged into the ocean and he died. There were skid marks from the tires where the car left on the roads. But who can really know if it was a suicide or something else? That is what I know about the incident from five years ago. 
Ray Kashima committed suicide after Mr. Hirose dies. She tore open her stomach. Oh, they're back over there. Are you kidding me? It's the fucking weekend. Why are they back there? Dude. The wound was so deep it almost reached her back and severed her body in two. So she killed herself after the teacher's death, huh? And the weapon she used could it have been hmm, the very same seal that she received from Mr. Hirose. She probably chose to take her life that way as a statement of her love for him. Her family put those seals on her coffin and cremated them along her corpse. You sure know an awful lot about this, don't you? Right on to the present he gave her. I learned this from Cameo. She had been trying to cope with her feelings ever since Kashima committed suicide. Oh, is she the quiet girl? Probably. It was around that time that she came to me. I guess she wanted to tell a little to feel a little better by unburdening herself from the secrets. And there he goes up his ladder to the internet box. So you were made aware of Kashima and Mr. Hirose's relationship at the time, as well as Manabe's evil scheme. Yes, Kamiyo told me. Since she seemed to regret her actions, I told her to visit Kashima's grave. I gotta read a little bit faster. A day she promised to go there with her friends. The friend begin being student ass. What about Manabe? She didn't go, she hated Kashima far more than the others too. She probably blamed Kashima for everything that happens. Now I understand how her decisions affect her life and deaths. Kamiyo and Shinji went to their cemetery, then they, where they did, they were marked by Kashima. Manabe survived simply because she didn't go. And now I told you how I know. How am I supposed to... And now I suppose you're going to expose this cool sordid past. Rest assured, I'm not gonna tell so. Is that so? Speaking of souls, you remind me a bit of the late Mr. Hirose. Me? Henry Rose? Uh huh, you had a hard time adapting to the school's etiquette. You were simply an artist, true and true. He was always getting worked up over trivial things and could be a little childish. Why shouldn't adults be so serious about a student's love or some silly rumors about the departed? I'm gonna start recording. Just in case this asshole decided to cut my internet again. Why should an adult be so serious about a student's love or some silly rumors about the departed? I will use your opinion as a reference. I'll be going then. Don't forget to lock the door. Miss Sakamoto grabs her habit-shaped handbag and leaves the place. Let's head out of here too. Don't have any business here anymore. Is that Diamond's phone vibrating? Oh, Nakamura's calling. What's wrong? Alright, I'll pass the phone off to Yashiki. He has to talk with you. He sounds quite panicked. I grab the phone and pull it to my ear. It's me. Massive news, Mr. Yashiki. It's beyond massive. I had no idea she was around the block. Calm down, Meira. What happens? It's Megumi Manabe, the gold prize. She's in 8th city right now. What the? I found her name on a local news broadcast. Manabe got off the bus in front of S Cemetery this evening. And then she suddenly just screamed and ran out into the roads. She got hit by a car. She suffered minor injuries, but she was taken to the nearby hospital just in case. Do you know which hospital it is? I think it's the one near M Tower Station, K Hospital. Got it. Thanks. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Yashiki. I'm about to take off. Do you need anything else? I'm good. 
I'll call you if you need anything. Thanks for today, Ata. No problem. See you later. Why did not come out to say? He knows where Manabe is. I'll share the details once you're back at the infirmary. I want Shou to know this as well. Once we're at the infirmary, I tell them about how Manabe ended up in Hei Hospital. I'm just guessing, but... Do you think Manabe screamed out of nowhere because... Yeah, she most likely saw his stiff Mao Kashima. Damn. Isn't she like fuck right now? Kashima marked Kamiyo and Shinji where they went to the grave, didn't she? That means Manabe is. That's really bad. We have to go to the hospital and protect Manabe. Except visiting hours ended a long time ago. It'll be tough to enter the hospital. I'll do something about it. Mr. Conway's younger brother is actually the director of K Hospital. Maybe we can get a pass if we ask Mr. Conway. How do we get to the hospital? And a lot of boot and buses running at this time. Are we gonna hop in your car then? I actually didn't bring my car today, sorry. Same here. I took my car for inspection. Let's just take the taxi then. It might be expensive, but you got the dough, right, old man? Diamond immediately calls Mr. Conway and asks him as and as him ask K hospital director for what? For permission to end what? I forgot the sentence was so weird. It doesn't take long before we're granted permission to visit Manabe. Doesn't help that I'm studying either, sorry about that. Let's head to the main gate, was here already. I've called us a taxi. And I think that's the last one. I bought a taxi with Diamond and asked the driver to take us to K Hospital. I'm not spending another day. I gotta finish the chapter today. I don't care anymore. The entrance is this way. Come on. There's the entrance. It is all green. Mr. Conway is already inside the hospital waiting. I care much for the crew once I got your car, Yashki. Is new is new target really here? Come to think of it, Mr. Conway hasn't seen the new notice. I don't have time to go into too much detail, but the target Megami Manabe is hospital hospitalized here. Sleeve Mark Kashima wants vengeance for an incident that occurred five years ago. Sounds like a serious problem. The director said Manabe is in room 303. She already knows we're coming. Let's, let's hurry up and meet her. I'll be waiting here. It only cause problems if we all enter the room at once. One of us had to lift after partnering with Mr. Konami. We get off the third floor and walk down the empty hallway. Our destination is room 203. Oh, what is going on? What is... What, what's that? It's a TV. Why do you think... Why do I have to check? Just... That is... Is there, is there more than one checkpoint? Is there more than one checking? No? There is only this point? Or why do I... Okay. Two silhouettes are projected in the curtain. One is a person sitting on the bed. And the other silhouette looks rather odd. Leave me alone already. How many times have, I, have you stood by my bedside and told me to come to your grave? I've gone there now. Are you satisfied? Please just get lost. I'm begging you. With a trembling voice, the girl who is likely Manabe is pleased with a figure next to her. That figure must be Sliff Mount Kashima. Manabe is in danger. What is this feeling? My legs won't move. My legs. They're stiff as iron bars. I'm looking down to my legs. They're scissors. This is bad. I can't even speak. 
the same goes for Diamond. I can tell he's panicking. Give his scissors back to me. His scissors, he said. Didn't your mother put me a coffin during your funeral? I don't have them. But I bought the same scissors for you. If this is what you want, please just go and rest in peace. I don't want to see you ever again. His scissors. Oh, 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 God, no. Sleeve Mount Kashima's figure disappears. At the same moment, I regain control of my legs. What was that? Manabe? Just getting ready. Hashima must have. I have to check the other side of the curtain. This ghost is very physical and violent. I mean, not that the other ghosts were not violent, but this one is especially brutally just all over the place. The curtains died red with blood. <laughs> it's just text. Now he's a random dog. Two of them. It's just everything. It's supposed to be a weekend. It's supposed to be a day for relaxation. And here I am. Uh, it's like I'm playing Dead by Daylight. The sharp smell of blood assaults my nose. Uh, YouTube's gonna complain. I, I kinda showed it a split second. I mean, it's kind of similar to... Is this... Is the same... Uh, whatever. It's the same... Method she's been doing with... Uh, the other two victims. She's just growing scissors. Um, on the body. Lying on the bed is a corpse with scissors bursting on her body. The wet red scissors gleam brightly embedded in the light of the flashlight. A contorted expression reflects the fear and pain she felt at the moment she was murdered. My thoughts start thrilling amidst the thick, nauseating smell of blood. Five years ago, Manabe's scheme sent both Kashima and Hiroshi to their graves. Five years later, after visiting Kashima's grave, Manabe falls prey to Mash Kashima's vengeance. I guess this is an extreme case of what goes around comes around. The lifeless figure on the bed is not a doll, but a human being who had, who had lived over 20 years. She had a future ahead of her. She also had a family and friends that loved her, but, but someone had to. But despite the horrible abrupt ending, this isn't something you can simply label a tragic situation. So that's also common. I mean, a dead body is still a dead body, but... I'm not gonna say I'm unhappy for what happened. I know it must be shock, Yashiki. We're in deep trouble with someone's sisters. Let's tell Mr. Kono immediately. I mean, we have a doctor with us. We can just tell that she went into an uh, emergency uh, surgery procedure. And the uh, the doctor that gave the appointment forget some uh, medical equipment inside her um, abdomen. Here, uh, the, on the arm, there, the legs, and in her eye, and the, the toes. Do we say what else we forgot the scissors? Um, are you done with the questioning already? Mr. Conway. 
I need you to stay calm and listen to me. Mana base. I doubt him what happened in room 203. What did you say? There's been another victim after Horikoshi. I'll go check the room myself. First I'll call my brother. I mean, I mean the director about after that. Your brother? I returned to room 303 along with Mr. Conway. There's no one there. The curtain is no longer staying red. Manabe's grotesque corpse is also nowhere in sight. Where's the corpse? Should have been here. Lie on the bed. On the bed? But there's only a small box here. A small box, he said. There is indeed a small box near the pillow. The small box is deceptively heavy. Stylish leather in streets, Tsubame scissors, which leads me to believe these are scissors that are scissors inside. This must be the scissors Manabe bought for Kashima. Tsubame. So Manabe's course has disappeared, just like Izumi or Horikoshi's. Oh, for goodness sake, what bring, what strings am I going to pull to cover this up? Can I leave this matter to you? Sure, I'll find a way to do something about it. It sounds strong, but I'm glad the corpse is gone. I can just stay, say the patient run away. While the hospital will be held accountable for this, we'll manage somehow. I got a lot of friends in high places. Honestly, this guy's acting pretty mortal. But it's not like I have any right to criticize him. Mr. Connor is just doing some distasteful things in order to try and help us save lives. Thanks, are you one? If you don't mind, I'd much rather receive a report on this case being closed than your thanks. Make no mistake, I'm not risking my neck for you. What I do, I do to protect my school and my students. If you're done with your business here, then make yourself scarce. Things can only really take a turn for the worse if anyone sees you here. And they died. And unfortunately, a point to death. And Mr. Kone is urging we make a hasty exit from the K hospital. Hospital. I fear it protects another one. We both failed again. I know there's gotta be tearing you up inside. <laughs> I failed to save Manabe and lost my lead in the process. I got left to disappointment. We didn't expect Kashima to show up at Manabe's place and tell her to visit a grave. Kashima sure likes doing things the roundabout way, huh? Who knows? Maybe she can only attack people who have visited her grave. The only reason Manabe is surviving up to this point was probably because she never went to her grave. I guess humans and spirits are both bound by their own strict rules, huh? Why now, though? Five years have passed since the incident. Perhaps it's because of the departed. Like, maybe Kashima's been gaining power ever since the departed started to show up at the school. Sometimes the presence of a spirit will cause other spirits to behave in a more proactive way. I've had to deal with similar things in previous cases. So what should we do now? Well, we don't have a lot to work with. Wait. So we should go back to the school and reorganize the next investigation. Works for me. Let's do that. Shall we take the bus back to the school? Time is long, no longer of the essence. Oh! You're here. Uh, Abe? Abe? Whatever. So we meet again, huh, Mr. Yashiki? <sighs> Must be fate. Are you following me or what? Who can say? Even a mere illusionist wouldn't know, would let anything sleep that would reveal the secrets. Your inquiry is pure stupidity to me. Can you at least tell me your name then? Well, well. Oh my. Have I not introduced myself? How rude of me. The name is Haru, Haru Akiabe. I give a name references to great exorcists who found it so, so, uh, that. 
I'm sure you agree that it's a suitable name for Honor Possessment. I never heard of that. Unfortunately, my name uses different kanji. Arwakiabe. That name sounds familiar, does it? The name sounds familiar. Um. Oh, the yearbook. You're the one who borrowed the year graduation album. Oh, so you're aware. It seems my fortitude has been weighted and found wanting. So we're also been digging into the spirits in this nation. Mind telling me what you're trying to accomplish? Why? I have the same information as you, Mr. Yashiki. Motivation. I wish to unravel the mysteries behind the spirits lurking in Konoe Hara Academy. Including the true identity of the department. Don't play with fire, it's dangerous. It is I who wishes to convey the gravity of the situation to you, Mr. Yashiki. You should give up. And stop punching the microphone when you're trying to get a water bottle after scratching your balls, it's not nice. Before I sleep, Mount Kashima kills you. Me. Killed by Kashima. My left eye perceives it quite vividly. The jet black thread anchored to your back. You have been marked by Kashima. She has branded you as the next target. Do you feel like running now? I mean, the last person who tried to run from Kashima became a giant slug monster who was licking the ears and statues, so I don't think that's gonna help. Not at all. This is my job. Oh really? To be expected from one bestowed by the moniker of Spirit Doctor. May you survive this deathish night. Abe throws us a mysterious sign before he leaves. Am I really her next target? Is he telling the truth, then? As soon as I get on this bus. I'm going to explode in a thousand pieces. I mean, is either on the cemetery, which probably is, or it is in the art room. Some time has passed since the bus have left K Hospital. That one and I are the only passengers. Well, past that cemetery. We'll pass that cemetery soon. Manabe got off at this bus stop this evening. The only reason she came here was that Kashima kept urging her to visit her grave. And in the end, five years later, Manabe was murdered by Kami on Shinji. I visited her grave as well. The next target is you. The possibility was always there. Abe pointing it out to Bella. Okay. Investigating spirits naturally involves bringing ourselves closer to them. The more you approach, the more likely it is that you catch their attention. Learning that one has targeted me is nothing unusual. Cemetery, what? Oh! Over there. On the other side of the window, a bus going the opposite direction stops. A tall woman stands near the bus. Is she perhaps... The bus drives past that, past that cemetery. Did you hear that? Yeah. The bus is approaching M Town Shop bus stop. Oh, she's still following. Again. I spot her standing near the bus stop. I'm not. The bus continues past the down shop. God, is she following us? What should we do? Well, I was right. Kashima is targeting me. I need to improvise a plan before this bus arrives at the school. Uh, 
don't get off the bus, I'll explode and die. And it's not gonna work. Escape it to the school. Um, I don't think it's gonna work. I wonder what the save is going to be if I choose wrong. Don't get off the bus. Hold on a second, Yashki. I'm fairly certain it should simply continue to follow us. It won't do us any good. What shall we do then? Shall we go back? Isn't the, 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 uh, the driver here? Is that a driver? I don't think that's a driver, but isn't the driver just like sitting there? And just listening to these two old men just talking about like this, this little girl ghost with, with following us. Just crazy, man. It's just crazy, yo. I feel like we won't get a second chance to fight, so I'd like to improve a, improve that chance. We should devise a strategy at your base. Fine, let's go with that. Is she even gonna let us get inside the school? Come on, Diamond. Wait, I don't have that kind of stamina. We jump off the bus and hit the ground running. Poor Diamond. The sound of footsteps along with a metallic scraping are falling close behind us. Just a little bit further. The school gate's just ahead. <laughs> just diamond dying on the background. Where is Kashim? Where is Kashima? It's <laughs> not falling anymore. She give up. Really hope so. The vengeful spirit has been haunting us this place for five years. And you just killed Manabe earlier. Mana brought some time, but she's persistent. She's coming after us sooner or later. Until then, I have to think of a way to appease her resentment and save her soul. What should we do? Only my beloved teacher can save my soul. God damn it. Be my teacher at a place full of our memories. What's that voice? The gentle whispers of a girl. Definitely not the departed's voice. What's wrong, Yashki? You look intoxicated. That's my natural look. Ignoring Diamond, I try to decipher what the voice said. Only my beloved teacher can save my soul. Be my teacher and come to the place full of our memories. Come on, Diamond, stink. What does she mean by that? What does she want me to do? Where's my beloved teacher? That is Hirose. Kashima clearly considered Hirose to be her beloved teacher. That's who would have saved, would have to save her soul. What does she mean by be my teacher? I'm a teacher! I'm a teacher! Give a lesson? Then to be Hirose? Sakamoto told me that I was similar to Hirose in a way. That means I may be able to get her attention by pretending to be Hirose. Yeah, once I have her attention, I should be able to deliver a message her soul will hear. That will be the old built building arts room. That's it. It must be what that voice meant. For Kashima and Hirose, the old building art arts room was a place full of memories. I need to go there and pretend to be Hirose. I got it. I know a way to remove Kashima's resentment and purify her. Come again? I tell Diamond my idea. I'm claiming that it's my idea because mentioning the gentle whisper I heard would just confuse matters. Hmm, I see. That reminds me. Did you pretend to be a teacher in our first case together? Yeah, I guess it must be fate. Now that we got a plan, our destination is the art room of the old building. But first, we need to save the game. I'm hungry. I'm actually am. Yeah. If you hear something weird, it's, it's my stomach. Hmm. 
This is Hello, child. Beyond my gaze, the departed. What do they want now? Yeah, get out of here. Boots, get. Get out of here. Stop throwing trash on them. Get, get out of here, moron. Get, you don't. No one wants you. Oh, why did he do? <laughs> Stop throwing trash at the thing. Ash must reset me. Kill by kill gold price. My dear husband. Ashma's resentment, kill God Prize. What? My next target is you. See, she's coming. Should you survive to become a real husband? Oh, that is. She doesn't make questions. She, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a she because of the whole husband thing, but like. It's probably. It's a lot of things. Should you survive to become a real husband? I can hear Kashima's footsteps coming from the new building. With the departed in front of us and Kashima approaching from behind. This is the worst situation imaginable. Yeah, get out, get, get out of here. We, we're trying to get out of here. We're trying to survive this thing. God damn it. Let your bride eat, eat the soul. The soul of Kashima who has been completely saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall her soul taste awful? Shall eat the scapegoat soul instead? And that scapegoat is... Doctor? Delinquent? The father's presence abruptly vanishes. Abruptly, whatever. Delinquents? Don't tell me. This is bad. Footsteps are coming closer. Let's run to the old building, Ashley. But did I escape, Goddess? We have to go. Quick! To the art room. Diamond grasps my arm violently. And drags me straight to the old buildings. So For someone who is chronically ill, he's quite dependent. I like Diamond. Ashima's footsteps can still be heard from a distance. Have to hurry. I can't think straight. The departed's next scapegoat is delinquent. Delinquent has to be Sho. Should we fail to fully redeem Kashima's soul, Sho will be killed. Hey, Dime. It's not the best time. Let's focus on running. That's right. I can't save Sho if I don't deal with the pressing issue at hand. There is no way to save Sleeve Mark Kashima so if she catches us before I can play teacher. Alright. Let's head to the art. Is she gonna chase us? No? No, no. She's just. walking around. It would be fun if she just showed up. Whoa, what? Wait, 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 hold on. What if I... I can't leave. Ah, they, they thought of it. Can I just go the other way? No, no. Did you notice, Yashiki? I can no longer hear Kashima's footsteps. There's no way she simply gave up. If anything, I should expect that she'll be here shortly. I better hurry and get ready before she's here then. Right, about that, why are you using my voice, Yashiki? Speaking of getting ready, how are you planning to impersonate Hirose? About that. Yeah. The three people connected to Kashima were all killed. Worse still, Kashima is persistently after us. Thinking we are friends of those three. We need to count her rage, so we need to prove that we're not friends. 
We need more info on Kashima's background, specifically anything to do with the scissors. You will say potential uh, behind the treasure scissors will also play important part. Okay. Do I even have scissors with me? No, we left the scissors, Sabami scissors. We left the scissors with um We we left it on the graveyard. We don't have it. Did I miss something? Nah, this game doesn't go forward until I have all the possible answers. I may have the wrong partner, but usually the game won't move forward. Unless I have every possible playable answer in a, in my pocket. At least that's how it usually is. The moss related item inside the old shelf. Oh, I thought that was it. That was it. Guess not. Uh, here? A roller cabinet. A roller cabinet. Mm -hmm. There's a dusty easel here. According to this notebook, Hirose felt the happiest when he was drawing something here. And Kashima felt the happiest when she was watching him draw. Shall I recreate those happy memories then? Just sit down in a stool and have some happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. I can hear what sounds like what sound like Kashima's footsteps approaching from the outside. Do you hear the Yashiki? Yeah, Kashima's coming for us. The sound of the footsteps stop just outside the school building. The art room is on the second floor though, and now she climbed the wall. She's a spirit, she can teleport. I mean, if she can make scissors sprout from her arms, she can teleport. Or she just jumps very good. sense of painful discomfort dwells up within my arm. What's wrong, Yashiki? What is wrong with your arm? Kashima obviously considered us enemies. If scissors burst out of my arm again, I'll no longer be able to pretend I'm here to save. What do we do now, Yashiki? Okay, uh, Kashima has lumped, has lumped us in with Manabe and the others. If you can show her that we're not friends with them, she'll stop being hostile towards us. So first priority should be doing something to prove we're different from them. Maybe we can empathize with Kashima and make her think that we're different with her. Uh, uh, options. A sketch pad. Show the sketch pad, praise the sketch. Uh, diamond? Diamond cuts Yakishi's hair. Yakishi cuts Diamond's hair. Uh, how do we do what? I forgot. Uh, <laughs> empathize with Kashima and make it seem that we're with her. Um, oh, praise the sketch. Opening the sketchbook, we look at the unfinished drawing and try to come up with nice things to praise. Uh, just, just, just nice uh, uh, paper. 
the paper is very uh, crisp. What a wonderful work of art. The composition details are exquisite. Don't you agree, Diamond? True, I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, it's... Friends! Ah, uh, she became a Pokemon. Oh, oh, never mind. A sharp pain runs through our arms. It was a bad idea, we just look like a bunch of art fanatics. We've done nothing but a stage of hostility towards us, I need to come up with a different plan. I mean... <laughs> what do I need to do? I don't need to start cutting. Uh... Show the sketch? Copy the sketchbook and show Kashima the unfinished drawing. You didn't finish your homework. Oh god damn it. That didn't work at all. I'm on Karsiashki here. I do need a haircut. Gently grabbing the back of my hair. Actually, Diamond does as well. Isn't he a doctor? Why is his hair so long? Gently grabbing the back of my hair. Okay, I, I'm being judged again. It just, I don't know. From what I learned, it's not great to have long hair because, you know, cross contamination. Maybe that's just on the kitchen. Never mind. I haven't been taking care of your split ends much, have you, Ashki? Clean things up back here for me. Diamond thinking quickly goes along with my axe. That works! Kashima really wanted to be a hairdresser, and by the looks of it, we jog her memory a bit. Looks like it's the right choice. Good. At that moment, Kashima approaches us. While our hostility towards us are ebbed a bit, it doesn't mean we're in the clear. Just a little bit. Who am I? And there we go. She's going to kill me if I'm not, if I'm not her teacher. I gotta pull myself together. Maybe this is our own destination, just like the encounter at the cemetery. The pain has subsided for now. Though there is no guarantee I'll be able to survive much more of this. What are you going to do, Yashiki? Are you going to respond to her? As I try improvising. Ashima thinks I'm here to say. It's a misunderstanding, but it's the only thing I have to work with right now. This sketchbook might be the key to respond to Kashima's feelings. Like, maybe I can help her finish this flower drawing. Um, the brown pencil is for uh, soft. The blue pencil is for hard. Uh, brown pencil? Is that a difference? Uh, Bellflower is for love. Cosmos is for purity. Hydrangea is for... Uh, uh, not that. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, flower. Uh, theory. Uh, my weakness. Um, uh, about flowers. Opening the sketchbook to the unfinished bell flower drawing. Pick up the light brown pencil and draw a line. I add a line to the faint and finished sketch. Hirose must have loved this pencil. So long as I can finish the sketch, Kashima wish for with this pencil. Take a look at this look at this sketch, is a my message for you. Looks like it's the right choice. 
and here she comes. Oh, she's leaning. Oh, she's crying. I feel bad for this girl now. Like... Look at those eyes, jeez. Kashima's totally buying my hero sect. She almost closed it to me. Kashima's mask come off, revealing countless seals that inside her mouth. Kashima cries, distraught over losing the scissors she got from Hirose. She's been looking for the scissors for so long. If we find the last scissors, we should be able to save her soul. What should we do, Yashiki? She's looking for the scissors she got from You don't know what those important scissors are. Um... The scissors that Hirose gave Kashima were supposedly burned alongside a corpse during the cremation. That's the case, the scissors Kashima is searching for are. Uh, 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 there's no time limits. Okay, you're gonna watch her dancing for a little bit, what I think. Uh, if the scissors got burns, it's not the new scissors. Uh, do I have anything? What do I have in my inventory? Um, yearbook and finish catch pad, blue pencil, brown pencil, uh, love letter to teacher, photography book, uh, no, 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 none of that. I don't have the pencil case. Is this uh, uh, no? I don't know. What are my options? The scissors in Kashima's mouth. Oh, that explains a little bit. Remove and return the black scissors. Remove and return the dirty scissors. Um, it's the black one. Oh yeah, there is a burnt scissor in your mouth. Right there. Where's the mouse? Okay, there is one burnt, burnt up blade. Right there. Uh. What's with her? How long? Throwing caution to the wind, we try to pull the scorched scissors from Kashima's mouth. Oh, we did it! With a nice 6 to 9. Yashiki, I grabbed the scissors! Nice, let's put together now! Once we yanked the scorched scissors out of Kashima's mouth, we immediately offered them to her. Kashima stares at the scorched scissors. She seems happy. Looks like it's the right choice. A pair of scissors, charred black. The ones that were cremated together with her corpse. They may became part of her, even after she became a spirit. Not realizing that, she committed to search fruitlessly for her treasure. I actually feel so bad for the spirits in this game. The main ones. The lower ones, uh, they kind of deserve it. <laughs> the bunch of bullies. I mean, a dead body is still a dead body. Like, don't kill people. But at the end of things, it's karma, as as it was said. Sleep Malkashima's presence has disappeared. <laughs> we managed to get through it. 
Yeah. My thought stone to the girl who was consumed by the throes of her sad and required love. Until the very end, Hiroshi only ever saw Kashima as a student. On the other hand, Kashima longed for Hiroshi's love more than life itself. Hence, I pretended to be Hiroshi and show her a vision of the love she wished for. We should be good with this, right? A feeble whisper echoes and dissipates into the darkness. It's a question to the departed who is watching somewhere. The air is getting colder. Don't tell me. Hey. Sleep Mark Kashima flashes before my eyes, as if mocking my expectations. It reminds me of Hanako's incident. If this is also the part is doing, perhaps Kashima's soul isn't completely saved yet. Asta Amazai, idol. This time it's delinquent. Show us the scapegoat. They're gonna show show naked. What's with the weird look in your face, Ashki? Heavy and as heavy and unpleasant as it is, I have to share this important information with him. I tell Diamond that what the departed told me. Uh, excuse me? Nagashima's the next escape boat. Diamond is frozen with fear. There's no reason to panic yet. If we manage to completely save Kashima's soul, Sho's life will be spared. You're right, Kashiwag is still alive. In this timeline. What should we do to completely save her soul though? Well, you have to sleep to you have to <laughs> Turkey mode. Still not so sure about that. Oh Yashki. What are you planning to do with the scissors in your hands? These? Sparrow's coarse black scissors I pulled out of Kashima's mouth. I couldn't bring myself to just throw away a treasure item filled with, with her feelings. I hang out to them for now. Who knows? We may need it for her full salvation. Got it. I put my faith in your intuition. I mean, your supernatural sense. I mean, I think I know. Uh, misunderstood, leading to a loving money. Blah, 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 blah. You wonder if Kashima's feelings would have been reciprocated in the future if Manabe and her friends didn't interfere. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hope the series can save her soul. Kashima appeared again after a battle, just like Hanako. Okay. Now. I am going to save the game. Our investigation has come to an end for tonight. While we managed to survive, it also failed to prevent another casualty. Hmm? Moe is the only one in the infirmary. I don't see show anywhere. Where did he go? Let's try asking Moe. But first, is there anything you haven't done yet? Uh, yeah, save the game. What is the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard? Uh, cemetery. Mm. You know, this is something that I miss here in Brazil. Like the bus tells you what's the next stop. We don't have that. Uh, here. Hmm. A number of small boxes of head dressing scissors are lined up on the, on, the, on, on the grave. Now I know why these are here. They were intended to cheer Kashima up because she has part to be a hairdresser. However, none of them ever made her feel better because the scissors she's asked for them aren't here. I pull out the scorched black scissors and place it in front of the grave. Then I put my hands together and pray that Kashima will rest in peace. Diamond does the same thing next to me. 
Is it over now? Yeah. Whenever I visit a grave, I feel kind of lonely, as if the autumn breeze is blowing through my heart. Cold, but refreshing at the same time. It's a bit weird. I think the main difference between a cemetery and a grave is, uh, and a graveyard is um, the graves themselves. Usually on a graveyard, um, they are burned to the ground. They are burned, they are buried. I guess the cemetery is more like memorials and stuff. It's not really like... There's no bodies, let's put it like that. Yeah, the cemetery is more for like memorials and to remember the past. But the graveyard is where you, you place the bodies themselves. I mean, it's a grave yard. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, yeah, I'm just going for what makes sense of the world, not for the actual meaning of it. That's what happened when we were investigating Hanako's case. Could it be? Is this the full salvation of the departed ones? I guess so. Hey, you're back. Glad you're safe. Huh? Where is Sho? That's what I was gonna ask you. Did you go outside for some fresh air or something? What? No, did you call him, Mr. Diamond? You told him to go to the old building because you guys were in a pinch. Hang on. I never called him. What is going on here? Look out, show then. My body immediately goes cold. Immediately after we saved a soul, a mark bearer went missing once again. The same thing happened with I, which means this must be the departed's doing. They pretend to be diamond and blow the show out. This is bad. So look for show diamond. How about me? You should stay here, Watanabe. No matter what happens, you're still useless. I don't believe anything anyone says over the phone, understood? Yeah. Be careful, you two. It would be on the um, old building. Hey, old man. Show comes running from the courtyard. Thank God you're safe, Show. That should be my line, you know. I rushed over because I heard you guys went in deep shit, but I didn't see you anywhere. Show, Diamond wasn't the one who caught you. I'd seen I was to depart it. Seriously? What for? Wait, is that stronger? Last time I only took two he 3 health. Oh, there you are. The Departed. What is that thing is? 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 My dear husband. Tell me. Do you love me? No. That must be directed at me. Or should I answer them? No. Button, I slowly shake my head. So cruel. Wait, am I dead? I think I'm dead. Penetrating scream reverberates through my mind, my sight goes red. Is this the departed's curse? Okay. He did better than me. That one starts coughing incessantly. My heart's pounding like a drum. This is bad, stick is up. This fucking jump has springed us. Show grimaces, he's trying to bury his fear in his rage. He clenches his fist tightly. Show, stay cool. Don't let him provoke you. You're the party's target. 
Fuck that shit. I'm gonna beat him to death. Oh. Show rushes to add to the puppets. And the instant he throws his punch. Show? Show? Show disappears. And my body feels a lot lighter than it did a moment ago. I don't know how it just happened. <laughs> Yashiki. That one calls me in a hoarse voice, still coughing up a storm. Did a part of the Nagashima are in the old building. In the old building. Wait. She's after them. What if I prioritize time? Oh, hold on. Are you giving me... Hmm. I turn my back on Diamond and rush to the old building. I can hear the sound of someone collapsing behind me. But I have no time to look back. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Diamond. Sure, where are you? I hear a scream from upstairs. Show. Are you having, are you having fun without me, Show? Is it the bathroom again? The screen rings out through the building again, filled with anguish. He comes from the hallway. God, I hope I make it in time. Show! Ugh. I can't find the departed anywhere. All I hear is the wet sound of someone chewing. No way. I wish I could see her chewing on uh, Ashima. <laughs> Safe cut. Well, it was delicious. Yay, well seasoned. I will save my next meal for another night since I am now full. I must eat a lot so I can become beautiful to my beloved. Beautiful and beloved, not to my beloved. Wait, is that different? <sighs> Once I enter the classroom, I see show collapsed on the ground. I just laying there. Again, that show. Uh, old man? You know, get up. Uh, yeah. Hello. My bad. Didn't mean to cause you trouble. Show Mama's at a spirit that apology. His normally fierce spirit has been crushed. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know. My mind went blank the moment I tried to attack the departed. And just like that, I was here. Why was the screen just now then? I saw something unbelievably disgusting. The departed ripped Kashima apart with a sickle and started munching on her. Alright, where's the fucker now? They're gone. Oh. Ah, I don't want to think about that again. Spirits eating another spirit. Did you take a picture? I want to see it. The departed ate another spirit, just like they ate Hanako of the toilet. Show must have screamed at and fainted at the unfathomable sight. I'm glad he's safe and sound, though. We returned Kashima scissors to a grave earlier. I guess that must have been the full salvation the departed wanted. Oh, yeah. Soulman Diamond safe. Oh, fuck, Diamond! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Leave in the old building and find Diamond lying on the floor. He doesn't verbally respond when I call his name, only lets out as Oh, he's alive. He's breathing so shallow, it's like his life's hanging by a thread. Show, call an ambulance! Okay. Show takes out his phone and calls emergency services.
that I'm on his trust for the K Hospital. He should be treated well there, given that Mr. Connor is younger brother's the director. Show Moy and I bought the ambulance together with him. During the ride, a few more in, and let him know what happened with Kashima. The ambulance finally arrives, but he's in there like, like nurses and other not not nurses like, but the emergency people on the on the ambulance just hearing like, oh, what has happened to him? He collapsed, and then we just hear like. They hate Kashma, they hate Kashma. <laughs> Although he's received treatments, Diamond has yet to regain consciousness. Following a simple examination, he was diagnosed with pneumomycosis. So, following nomenclature, pneumo means like lungs, or at least the respiratory system, like your trachea, your, your, your nose, your lungs, like things like that. And mycosis is anything related to um, mold, like mold, any fungi, um, things like that. So he pretty much has a whole. He's has moldy lungs. Is what he's saying. Like that is uh, molds growing on his on his lungs. In layman's terms, he inhaled too much molds and is infected, uh, he, and he's infected his lungs. Common symptoms of the disease are fever. Hemoptysis and coughing. Hemoptysis, something with the blood. I don't know what. But it's something with the blood. He's in if he will ever regain consciousness. He's also unknown why Sho and I are fine, even though we probably inhale more mold than he did. Our mind keeps circling back to the one thing that could explain his unscientific situation. Is this because they departed scars? Think so too. Say, do you think maybe it's a bad idea to get involved in this case? There's no point going thinking about it now. We're involved in this after all. Mr. Yashki. God damn it. If only I didn't fuck up. Show, Moe, back away from this case. Come again? I went down to the pilot by myself. What are you talking about? You should pull out of this too. Why do you have to fight them alone? It's too late for me. I've already been marked by them. Hell, I've been I've even been proposed to. Uh, as you already know, spirits are vengeful. No matter how far you run away, they'll still find a way to kill you. You know what happened to Manabe. My only hope of surviving this situation now is to see this all the way through the end. Old man. For you guys are different. The Departed won't target you if you just steer clear of Konoha Academy. So please, I'm begging you, let this case go. Sho and Moe want to help me despite knowing the danger. I doubt that my explanation is enough to dissuade them. But I still have to draw the line here. I don't want more people to fall victim to the departed. From here on, I will go after the departed by myself. If the departed curse will put Diamond in this coma, he may snap out of it if the departed disappears. Maybe. I mean, he's a pretty sick person. I wonder what kind of future awaits me. I reached the point of no return. Oh, now you think that. Yay! Yippee! Chapter ends. Save a progress? Yes. Yay! Save the game. Chapter 3 The Ends. I am not gonna play the ending song because YouTube doesn't like when I play the ending song. Hmm. I'm gonna have to pay someone to make a proper song for me in the future. I can't just show elevator music anymore. So instead, I'm just gonna go to the. Here it is. I'm gonna be quiet. Uh, sorry for the. Uh, 
thing the things that have been happening on the stream. I am gonna complain a lot to someone responsible. Take responsibility for uh, messing up with my internet. Makes no sense. I mean, I, I, it makes sense, but they should, you know, come talk to us <laughs> about that. And they're not. They're just pretending everything is okay and just moving forward and stuff. And then things like this happen, and now there is a whole new headache to create with five different people. And more compensation. There will be compensation. But yeah, this, this was chapter 3, finally. After two days. Which almost became 3. And uh, I have to think on a good thumbnail for chapter 4 tomorrow. Uh, yep, that's it. Goodbye. I have nothing else to say. I hope my trove will be okay. Because it is kind of burning right now. It should be. Goodbye.